How you doing? Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Another day, another dollar. Welcome to Stock Markets uh, with Good Bruce. How's it's everyone Uncle doing Bruce today? here, uh, welcoming you all to the channel for the date, uh, Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Nice to have you here from around the world. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, are we going to make some money today? Maybe. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, welcome one and all to hanging out with Uncle Bruce as we try to catch up and figure out what the heck is happening. It's wonderful. Uh, GameStop is definitely the star of the show this morning. Um, it's uh, been sitting at uh, this uh, 220 range uh, prior a little while ago, about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Then it took a, took a shot and went as high as 227, I think maybe even 228 for a bit. Right now, 226.30 on the pre-market. We, uh, we have an hour to go before we open up for the day. And uh, we've traded 619,000 shares this morning on the pre-market. Uh, last night in the after-market, the stock closed uh, from it closed at 209 last night on the New York Exchange, and it was as high as 219 on the after-market last night. Uh, this morning, it uh, resumed its uh, move, and um, uh, you know, in that 216, 17 range, and then it, it has now gone up again. Will it hold these levels uh, between now and the opening and into the opening? I can't tell you. I would not be surprised if it didn't um, because we've had quite the shot here. Um, three days ago, we were 170 something dollars a share. We're now at 226. We're up $46, $50 practically a share with not a single bit of news from the company officially. Um, however, there are things cooking out there. Um, and uh, the latest now, uh, we're, 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 we're beginning to read more and more reports and beginning to get more and more um, insight into a new website, a new website that GameStop has created uh, where they are creating a new marketplace for these NFT um, things, non-fungible tokens um, to in effect create a, a buying, a marketplace where you can buy these uh, using, I believe, if I get this right, uh, using some kind of bit, uh, some kind of a cryptocurrency, Ethereum. Uh, it's an Ethereum-powered website. Don't ask me what this means in detail. I can't help you. Um, but what I'm getting and what I'm absorbing here is um, this talk that's going on right now is uh, absolutely the perfect kind of talk to be happening to this stock at this moment in time for the right demographics. It's, it, 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 it's all falling into place. Um, you got cryptocurrency uh, players out there, which, which means anyone that's 16 and older <laughs> until about uh, maybe 40, that's their wheelhouse. Uh, they all get it, they all believe in it, and they, there's, there's a huge following there and a huge acceptance. Um, the Bitcoin and the, the other currencies have done all the, the cryptos have, have had the, the ups and the downs and everything else. And people are looking for a place to go where they can believe in a cryptocurrency and have faith in it. Um, then there's the NFT market, this new creation um, um, art that you can purchase digitally. Um, that's a whole other thing, which I can't go into because uh, I'm, I'm unqualified. Um, but again, it's the age, the age group. Absolutely perfect, right? The same people, uh, Gen Y, Gen Z, uh, everyone else. Then you have the gaming world, and you've got uh, GameStop and the gaming world. Um, the amount of art that you could put into an NFT marketplace through gaming, unthinkable possibilities. Um, beyond the capacity of 90% of the world to figure out at the moment, but will, they will get this quickly. They will begin to get this. And um, we're really gonna be into something interesting here uh, very, very quickly. Uh, GameStop seems to be setting up a marketplace where you can buy NFTs through this Ethereum platform where GameStop will get a commission for every item sold there's no inventory as per se. A GameStop doesn't have to pre-buy this to sell it. They're like a consigning company. They're, they're like consigning the artwork. So someone owns the artwork, they consign it through 
GameStop system and it's out there for bid. It's available for a certain period of time, kind of like an eBay listing in a roundabout way. It has an expiry date and the highest bidder gets the item. And GameStop gets commission to cut the deal. And it's an electronic transfer of cash for merchandise. Brilliant. <laughs> just, just so brilliant. Um, being an old man, uh, being an old guy, okay, and being old school stock market, you know, trained. I love this because um, the GameStop brand is is so respected amongst the gamers. And the GameStop brand is trusted that if they are doing this um, NFT business, it's an automatic, uh, they don't have to prove themselves to the, to the customers. The customers that will be into this NFT bidding, they totally uh, are comfortable with, uh, with GameStop. They're going to be totally comfortable with, with Ryan Cohen and his team. Totally comfortable because they're they're in the age group and they're they're aware. They know how it works. They know, they they understand it. And the, when the customer knows that the seller and the marketer are of their generation and interest level, it, it's it's a, it, it, you've just eliminated barriers everywhere else. If if Joe, if a company like say a ABC Marketing Company tried to set up an Ethereum uh, online uh, marketplace for NFTs. One, they're unknown. Who are these guys? Uh, where are these guys? Who trusts these guys? Now, I mean, we're talking below ground as far as credibility because there would be none. GameStop, uh, it's like, pff, great. Amazon, not going to get the same street cred that GameStop's going to get. GameStop's in the gaming business. And if they're offering gaming NFTs, that's right there. That's in their wheelhouse. That That is their zone, man. And... Um, this is huge. I, the the amount of 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 the amount of um, I'll use the word promotion, but I'm using that carefully. Um, the amount of exposure that GameStop is going to get from now on to the billions billions of people who are going to be interested in this going forward. Uh, uncalculable. It's incalculable. Um, this is like Coca Cola. This is like a brand name like Coca Cola. That, that this is, this is really big. This, this is worth more than the entire value of the company right now. That's what I'm telling you. Um, I think that's what I'm reading here. That's what I'm getting. I had no idea this was coming. Uh, I heard rumors and I heard you know a little talk here and there that there's something is cooking and there, there's something happening here. There might be something going on with. Um, online something and we've been talking here a lot about online uh like e-commerce obviously but also we're talking about uh, online wagering for um you know tournament play and we've been we've been speculating that maybe the company will take over an online um uh, wagering company and, and merge it in and amalgamate it in and make it part of that that could happen but but this uh we just hit 228 by the way this is a uh, this is another level and uh I'm kind of wondering and speculating in my mind here overnight. This is what I'm thinking all last night that the new CEO, the search is on for this new CEO. And I think you guys are starting to get this yourselves. You're starting to figure out, oh, this is what he's talking about. Why, why can't they just hire a CEO? Like, why don't you hire away the, the guy that runs Best Buy or the guy that runs uh, Dick's Sporting Goods or hire, hire the CEO of another retail type, uh, e-commerce type something in the in the electronics uh, thing no uh, we, we're looking for someone who can steer this company into here as well this nft online world this virtual world that is just we're 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 looking through a keyhole as to the future and the future is is this big and we are seeing this much that we're seeing this the tiniest little sliver of what is coming and the market the stock market is telling me already uh, it's got to be telling you there's something big going on we just hit 229 on the pre-market there's something big going on here and it is again i'm telling you what i think is possible 
possibly happening with the with the perception of GameStop and its entry into this area and is and its immediate uh, legit legitimacy in that marketplace is worth more than twelve billion dollars, which is the value of this company right now. It could double the value of this stock. It could. I'm just can't get in the way of, I'm not going to stop. I'm not getting in the way of this train. Uh, this thing is uh, really interesting. Those of you out there who have written call contracts against your stock, uh, panic not. Um, stocks go up and down. Uh, it's having a nice pre-market. The reason it's at 229 right now is there is no selling available because most people don't trade in the pre-market. There's a lot of stock for sale on the New York Stock Exchange, I guarantee you, in the first 20 minutes of opening. And it's very possible that the shares could be anywhere from uh, 200 to 225 dollars a share, 210 to 230, uh, 205 to 235. It, it, it could be anywhere in this range. Those of you who have written 210 calls or 220 calls or, or something like that, and they expire this week or they expire next week, they expire the week after. Keep this in mind. You're going to be if you're exercised, you're going to be exercised at 210, 220 a share. Plus, you get to keep the premium you've already written. All you'll do, you'll just relax and go, okay, take take my paper. All right, go ahead, take it. Um, I'll just turn around and buy the stock back. And I'll rewrite now $280 contracts or 300s, or I'll wait a while before I write again. It's trading at 230 right this minute, first minute. Um, you're not going to be exercised this morning. You're not going to be exercised this afternoon. You might not be exercised until, like, in the case of Friday's options, late Friday. It all depends on how the shares do all day today, Wednesday, all day tomorrow, Thursday, and all day Friday, depending on how these shares fluctuate. And they will do this. They are going to do this. Uh, do, do not think for a minute that these shares are just going to go like that. That's not the plan. I don't think so. But are they going down to 160 this afternoon? No, no, they're not going to do that. Um, could they break under 200 today? Doubtful. Um, I doubt it. But uh, have I put anything past... Uh, um, uh, hedge funds and and desperate uh, short position holders, I have not. And um, it's a question of what kind of volume are we talking about on the New York Exchange right now? Seven hundred fourteen thousand in the pre market. We're trading at seven two thirty one seventy two thirty one seventy this second. Um, <clears throat> I need to see and I want to see two thirty two now. I want to see thirty fifty million thirty million fifty million or more volume. Yesterday we had a 12, uh, 12, what was it, 12 million something in, in volume? 14.8, sorry, 14.8 yesterday. Best day in what, weeks? Um, I need to see 40, 50 million volume. Uh, you got to show me the money. Show me, show me some serious cash moving through here at these prices. 233 right now in the stock. Yeah, pre market right now, it could just keep going. It could go to 235, 238. It could do that, the pre market. This is not the New York Stock Exchange. A trading level, although this is a pre-market move, we love it. Uh, those of you who are long, and I'm hopeful. I, I know many of you are, of course. And there are some of you who are long option contracts. Way to go! Uh, Two thirty-four. It looks like we're going to break break here. Um, great. Two thirty-four, thirty-four right now. But keep in mind and and be prepared for this stock to fluctuate today. Thirty bucks. It, it could do that today. Just. It might end up at 235 at the end of the night. It might end up at 260 tonight. It could. But it could also end up at 205 or 215 and be almost unchanged with, with unbelievable gyrations in the meantime. Welcome to the GameStop market. Now, there is some uh, uh, comparison to what GameStop is doing to what AMC is doing. And, and that's natural. You know, you know this if you're a GameStopper. Um, we have... Uh, yeah, we just noticed here Amazon to buy MGM for 800, 8.45 billion, by the way. That's official. Amazon to buy MGM. All right. Now, we know about how uh, AMC has been kind of, uh, you know, mirroring GameStop, GameStop mirroring AMC. I mean, that, that whole nonstop, it's always in our face from the AMCers going, well, AMC is, uh, is making GameStop go up. Uh, you know. And uh, others going, oh, GameStop makes AMC go up. And then there's me going, oh, I don't know about that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We're all geniuses here. Um, $17.91 on the AMC shares at the moment. They have broken $18 this morning. They're up a buck fifty in the pre-market. Those of you who own GameStop and you are now breaking even, am I the most relieved person 
uh, of all of you, I am. Uh, I'm just so happy for you uh, that you're even or you're ahead. I, I'm, I really am. I want everyone in the market to make money, but I know that that doesn't happen. <laughs> I know that not everyone makes money in the market. But I'm thrilled that there are some of you out there, a number of you are my viewers, uh, specifically a lot of you are my viewers. Are, are you're, You've been pulled out of the doghouse here in the last week. What you do with it is up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You have to decide for yourself. But AMC is a classic, what we call reopening trade. No question. Uh, movie theaters are opening and 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 the states are opening and they will be allowed to have more people in their theaters i can't tell you that the numbers the, the percentage numbers of occupancy and all that because i don't follow amc like every little minutia this is a this is a market the stock market is whoever it is in the market that's buying and selling amc and it's traded 12 million in the after in the pre-market right now 12 million shares are traded hands in the pre-market there's a lot of day, day traders here. There's a lot of speculators here getting in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. They're doing a thousand at a time. You know, every three or four minutes, they're flipping for a nickel, a dime, 15 cents a trade. There are day traders all over this thing and, and, and thousands of them, thousands of them flipping stock. Then I do not see, however, major uh, uh, mutual fund, pension funds, and institutions buying up this stock to take control of this company. Not at these prices, not a damn chance. This is pure speculation on the reopening trade. <clears throat> and it's legit and it's okay. It's uh, a legitimate thing to have, <clears throat> a little legitimate thing to expect, a reopening trade. And that's what we have here. How high can it go? How far can it go? Your guess is as good as mine. So it's the speculation. Does it hurt that the Dow is up 86 points in the pre-market and the S&P is up 14 and NASDAQ up 65? That doesn't hurt a bit. That is all good stuff. So we have the right um, atmosphere this morning. Rather than a 600-point down day on New York, we've got an up day on New York. Not a, like a 600-point up day, but we get the right direction. So the vibes are there. Um, the excitement is there. The optimis optimism is there. Um, investors are <clears throat> showing their happiness and in the future, because the case counts are coming down, the vaccinated are higher. And, you know, there's just the right kind of news at this right moment in time that is just perfectly fitting in to an upcoming long weekend in the U.S. So we got IPOE. Um, tomorrow is the shareholder meeting to vote in SoFi. Stocks at 1997 at this moment in time. It's traded 93,000 this morning. So the IPO, IPOE pre market is virtually non existent. It's almost nothing. This is nothing. Uh, we have to wait till the opening to really see what IPOE is going to do. It is still a, a, a serious secret uh, amongst most market players. Uh, I expect the share, these shares to be significantly higher in the not too distant future. Um, if you are still trying to get your positioning in here on this stock and the contracts, you might only have a couple hours left uh, during the day today before all hell breaks loose. But that's just, again, my personal opinion. I would not be surprised that one morning I'm going to talk to you uh, and we're going to be up four or five bucks a share before we even start trading on the actual exchange. I'm just, I'm warning you, do not sell this. Do not get out of this. Get in it. Get in now. Be in there. And don't be surprised if we open up one morning at twenty-four fifty, and you're on your way to twenty-six bucks in one day. Um, and that isn't even it. That's just the beginning of the beginning. But I'm not going to keep beating that dead horse. Um, what else? Gore's Holdings, fourteen fifty-five. Uh, last I saw, up nineteen cents in the pre-market tonight. After the close, Matterport releases their financial statements, and I do not expect a disappointment. I do not expect a company that is not growing at a faster rate than anticipated. I expect the Matterport company to make people very happy with their results. Um, this stock uh, tomorrow uh, on the opening, it's possible. It's going to be exactly where it is. I doubt it'll be lower, uh, but it could be significantly higher. I'm just... Again, I'm putting it out there and uh, I, I, CYA, I've covered my butt and I'm telling you, 
Gores could be on the precipice of a big move because uh, tonight at the end of the market, over after the bell, Matterport releases their financials and they will talk about how many customers they have and what kind of um, deals they've got going and uh, their cash flows and their EBITDA and their estimates. And, uh, and it's just going to be, I think, phenomenal. Uh, but that's that's the old man talking here. What, do he, what does he know? Uh, he doesn't know anything. Um, anyway, 234.20 on the... Um, on the GameStop right now, 233. So it's uh, doing great. It's up $23 in the pre market uh, from yesterday's close at 209.43 last night. But do not be surprised if in the first 15 minutes these shares are back to 210, 215. Don't, do not be angry, nervous. You missed it. No, you didn't miss anything. This is just the stock finding itself. It's 234.81. It's really jumping here. And um, like I said before, and I'll keep saying it, you're not going to see 20 million shares trade in the pre-market on, on GameStop. 830 to 8,000, a lot of stock for this company, a lot of money changing hands right now. That's a good sign for those of you who, you know, we're looking for the scope. Yeah, uh, but New York, the first five minutes, we may have 2 million shares trade hands. Just we'll blow this 800,000 number right out of the door. We might have 4 million trade hands in the first 15 minutes. Just calm down, breathe relax and allow it to happen and let's see what the market gives us and let's go from there uh samwell i'll uh, thank you for this donation today i have i have enough cash to get six ipoe 2250 calls for january is this a good move in your opinion yes i think it is yep i think it is uh timing um and and uh exercise uh, uh the the uh, the exercise price yep yep i would say it's uh not a bad move at all. Uh, P Long Stock, thank you. What do you think is a reasonable price of the stock based only on the business today and the new info? Are you asking me about GameStop? Um, I just went over all of that and we'll just, let's just figure it out. Thank you for this donation, by the way. Um, uh, we, we're going to have some, we're going to have fun today uh, and tomorrow and Friday. Um, Ilian, uh, hey, Uncle B, I sent you an email. It's an open calendar. I created on Google. I mentioned you this idea I've looked at. I saw it. I, I thank you. Um, I got your email. I have 400 emails. 400. <laughs> I'll get to it. Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, it, thank you guys so much. Um, uh, I'm trying to desperately reach back to those of you who are trying to make one-on-one -on -one consultations because I have them this weekend. I have them next week, and I have them, and you need to you need an answer ASAP whether I'm available and when so you can plan your lives. There's all that going on. Then there are all of you who are sending me emails on, I hear this on GameStop. I'm hearing this on IPOE. I've got that. I love you guys. Thank you for these links to the Wall Street bets, to the, the, the Reddit, to the everything that you're sending me. Thank you. Ilian, thank you very much. Um, uh, really appreciate it. I, I'm going to be mentioning this to my team um and uh just yeah you're awesome buddy and uh you're i'm so appreciative i really am i i i haven't responded to you yet on the email i just haven't been able to do it it has just been that crazy here and of course we're watching this um 233 on gamestop and uh i think we're gonna have some fun um now we have added new subscribers this morning uh new members new members have come in here and, uh, and I have not been able to name them because uh, I saw the names pop up and they've already disappeared on my uh, fledgling system here. I'm not sure if I'm going to see them here. I'm looking right now and um, I'm not sure if, uh, if I have their names or not. Um, uh, yeah, I think Christian Lutz has come in and Rares Vasiliotis. Vasily and uh, Nate Colgrove and uh, Maverick KX. Um, a couple of you have renewed your your membership, and I think Nate, you're brand new to the party. Um, and I'm not sure if I've got everybody, but I thank you all coming in here and becoming part of this channel. Um, words cannot express my my gratitude for become for those of you who are becoming members of this channel today and 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 yesterday and for the last two and a half plus months. You guys are. Phenomenal! Thank you, everybody. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, and I are are thrilled and just uh, over the moon uh, that so many of you are joining us. Those of you who are subscribing to this channel, thank you as well. 
Uh, we really appreciate you becoming subscribers of this channel and hitting the bell notification icon beside the subscribe button. Thank you. Uh, you'll get alerts every time we do an updated video and, and a new live show. Uh, so again, thanks all of you. We released two videos last night. A bunch, bunch of you were watching those. And we'll try to keep those coming with little recaps on what's going on. It's exciting, kids. It's exciting. Uh, Ford is announcing a $30 billion uh, investment uh, into the EV uh, business um, to go you know, heavy into EVs. Uh, they are claiming they have 70,000 pre-orders for their pickup truck, their new F-150 Lightning Series. Um, uh, Ford is five years behind Tesla, and I don't care how many billions of dollars they're going to throw into the pot. They are five years behind Tesla as an electric anything maker, and um, uh, you're not going to see a Ford F-150 uh, electric truck for two years, um, and even then, we don't know how reliable it's going to be. Uh, Tesla's trucks are coming up within a year or something like that, and I think Tesla has Three to five hundred thousand pre-order. I don't know what it is. It's it's an unbelievable number. Um, uh, but but uh, analysts, uh, some of the analysts I heard this morning on CNBC were talking about, oh, how great Ford is doing with all these pre-orders. I laugh at these guys because I remember Tesla had thousand dollar deposits required for the Model Three, and they had three hundred fifty thousand ordered at a thousand a pop in the bank. Um, like on the night they were showing it off for the very first time. It was it was incredible. Uh, 70,000 F-150 truck orders, that's a joke. And it's a $100 deposit. That's a joke. Um, how seriously are you going to take a $100 deposit on a truck that's going to run you fifty to 70000 Don't fall for this. Oh, it's only going to be thirty nine nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. You tell me anyone that has a truck that's thirty nine nine dollars uh, brand new without a single option on it, give me a break. Ford won't even make those available. Uh, they're going to be 60 to 80 grand a shot when they're all said and done. And these $100 deposits are, to me, an absolute laughing stock. But hey, you got to start somewhere. And when you only have a prototype, you got a prototype. Good news for Ford. They got the President of the United States to drive it down, down the test track a little bit. So talk about PR. Way to go. Um, but Tesla has done it the old-fashioned way, uh, hustling and delivering. And now the, you know, the Model 3, the Model uh, the Y, the X, the S, and the pickup truck is coming, and much, much more. God bless everybody on that front. Now, I have a beef. <laughs> I have a beef. Um, you know, I was, watch I was watching CNBC this morning, and uh, I was uh, waiting. Uh, I had been, you know, they had been teasing us on the air, teasing us and teasing us. We've got news, news coming up about GameStop. And AMC, we have news. You know, we're, we're going to talk about it. I'm going, oh, okay, let's hear what you have to say. By the way, Frank, thank you, Frank. I'm thinking of selling my 30 GameStop while it's hot to buy 300 IPOE. Any thoughts? Uh, it's your call. Um, you know, it's 232 right now. Um, I Can it go higher? Much higher on GameStop. Um, can IPOE go up? Yeah. Will they both go up? Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Um, you know, you, you want to sell all or do you want to sell some? sell 10 and then shift over to some over that's up your frank it's your call i i'm not your advisor i'm just the guy telling in plain english what i think is going on but in plain english let me tell you cnbc <clears throat> was promising for 15 minutes uh stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned finally they they uh, revealed who they had to talk about gamestop amc ipoe i think even churchill they were mentioning um they had stephanie link and they had another fellow who's a, uh, like Stephanie, a very well-respected money manager, um, neither of which are qualified to talk about any of these stocks because they don't follow these stocks. They do not specialize in growth stocks of this nature. They're not SPAC fans, nothing. I mean, we're talking about the, not the worst possible guests you could have, but certainly completely unqualified people to bring in to comment on the news of these two companies. And, and the, the pitch was they were going to tell us, uh, explain to the viewers what's going on. And uh, they went to Stephanie Link and, and uh, Andrew Ross Sorkin a asks her to, uh, uh, you know, talk about the, uh, you know, the stock, GameStop and, and AMC. And she walks, she goes into a two-minute spiel about the Federal Reserve loosening money and 
low interest rates from the central bankers and how Europe is being assisted. And I'm going, what has this got to do with GameStop? What has this got to do with AMC? And she, she kind of alluded to uh, there's a secular shift going on between growth and value stocks and, and the Russell is up high. And, then, uh, and that was her spiel. And that was her explanation about what's happening with your GameStop shares and with the AMC shares. And then they talk to the other guy who says, well, I completely agree with Stephanie Link. <laughs> just go, what are you, why are these two people even on the air this morning? They have a right to be on the air in their niche. Yeah, keep them in their, they got, they're experts in their field. But this is a complete waste of time. It's an insult to all of us as, as followers, you as shareholders, an absolute insult to every single viewer of that network to uh, to completely uh, you know play this game i mean it was so pathetic pathetic uh andrew Rostra is desperately trying to get them to talk about the stocks and they won't because they can't they don't know what the hell is going on and they don't want to know and that is really the the honest answer they don't want to know and i'm going why did you have them on the air why are you wasting their time when they should be spending their 10 minutes pre-interview and interview, they have clients worth, worth billions of dollars that they're looking after. What are you wasting their time for having them talk about that? They can't talk about this. Can they talk about GameStop and Ethereum and, and, and NFTs? No. Can they talk about GameStop and the search for a new CEO and the first quarter financials just about to come out? No, because they don't care. And they're not going to care ever. They will never, ever care. And this network is such a disappointment. Uh, um, after that interview was over, they went to a break, and then they came back with a Republican uh, senator to talk about the banking committee that's coming. They're going to have the banking committee interview bankers. The headline on the bottom of the screen during this guy's spiel was the, um, the left's attack on capitalism. That was, the, that was their headline, the left's attack on capitalism, because... This Republican guy is accusing the Dem Democrats of wanting the banks to stop their stock buybacks. And this is anti-capitalistic. It's virtually full-blown socialism. It's an attack on capitalism. And I'm thinking, you're attacking my brain for common sense. Get these hacks off the air. You're a business network. You're supposed to be a business channel. It's all politics all the time, and it's all on the Republican side. They don't have a Democrat coming on from the banking committee. They don't have, they don't have an analyst from the banking side coming on. To no, because it's a complete political game. Total waste of our time. Total waste of our energy. Uh, is it any wonder I have this thing on mute all the time? I just, I can't listen to it anymore. I just can't. They used to be a business network. And uh, now they're, uh, they're the uh, Republican Party um uh, you know, Republican Party light, I suppose, from the business. And I don't have a problem with Republicans. I love Republican business people. I love I love entrepreneurs. Uh, and I know that many entrepreneurs are Republicans. I have a lot of right-leaning tendencies when it comes to making money. I like to be, you know, left alone to, to do what I need to do. When I was working through my 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, hey, I loved having the open business environment. Yeah, sure. Uh, less government intervention. Yeah, sure. Uh, but uh, but uh, first thing in the morning, pre-market, when, when everything is happening the way it's happening, there's so much going on, to totally go to talk to a minority member of the banking committee about what he thinks the Democrats are trying to do to the world. Oh, my God. I mean, geez, you guys. Put him on Fox and go over there. Talk. This is not Fox. This is business. Oh, my God. I, 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 I'm sorry. I have to keep coming back. This. I don't like doing this. I'm if you think I like doing this, am I? Do I look happy to you? Uh, not happy. Anyway, <laughs> two thirty-three, two thirty-four on GameStop. I'm happy about that. Um, okay. Uh, thank you to uh, Calf, uh, five pound donation. Bruce, should I buy Frank's thirty shares at GameStop? <laughs> hey, you want to sell GameStop? Go ahead, sell your GameStop. Uh, if you think it's all over, uh, good luck. Um, but hey, I understand it. I want to shift from GameStop to IPOE. <laughs> 
sell half of it. Sell, it's okay to diversify. I, I, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's your call. Anthony Wheeler, super sticker, 1999. Anthony, you're the man. Thank you so much. And uh, Luke Spear, $69 uh, a super sticker. Incredible. Uh, thank you all of you for, for these um, uh, generous donations to start the morning. 235 on GameStop right now. We are uh, 25 minutes away from opening this thing up. And we're going to get going here. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's going to be exciting, uh, very exciting. Um, anyway, thank you all of you for for popping through here, uh, catching up with me. I, I'm just trying to uh, get through it all. I I just I hate incompetence, um, and I hate it at the highest level. And when I see, and I hear, uh, so-called specialists uh, being brought in on a topic they have no business covering, they have no clue. Uh, I look at this network and go, what's wrong with you guys? What, why can't you bring in qualified people? Why can't you bring in a, cur a cryptocurrency expert to talk about this GameStop thing? Why did you bring in an NFT specialist to talk about the GameStop thing? They don't have to be an, a GameStop specialist. It could be a special, I mean, something, anybody, uh, help. Uh, you know. And then AMC, why don't, you, why don't you bring in someone who's an entertainment specialist? Uh, why don't you cover the a, the Amazon takeover MGM and the and the AMC reopening trade and how these other stocks? Are, why don't you do that? No, no, they don't know. They're bringing in their in house in house CNBC contributors that they pay money to, in house people they pay money to to appear on camera. And I'm wondering, uh, is this a quota thing? Uh, these people have to be on the air so many times a week or so many times a month for a minute at a time or three minutes at a time for them to earn their fee. And the producers are going, well, let's get Stephanie in here. She's got to be on the air today. And uh, let's get in that guy. Uh, let's talk about GameStop with them. You are not helping anybody pulling off this crap. This is garbage. And it's just your credibility is shot to hell. 236, 237 on GameStop uh, right now. Am I a perfect expert on everything? No. I'm just a generalist, and I'm just trying to explain to you in plain English what the heck is going on. And in plain English, CNBC is blowing it, and, they're just, and it's been going on for months, if not years. It is really pathetic. Um, uh, an, a network with unlimited upside potential, and they are blowing it. It's just ridiculous. Gorm, Gormese, thanks, buddy, for becoming a member and joining the others who've joined this morning. Um, I've been trying to, to really... Uh, Stay up on top of all of you as best I can to welcome you all in when I see you. Um, thank you so much. And uh, what can I say? Uh, I guess uh, Barry Jam saying, even when you complain and whine, I enjoy listening and watching you. If I can complain and whine as pleasant as you do, well, then I guess that's why I have no big. <laughs> uh, my, 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 uh, um, most news programs are run by for-profit corporations. No matter what side is being promoted, it's propaganda nonetheless. I hear you there. Um, I tell you, uh, I was watching last night. I have to tell you this too. I watched a movie last night that we uh, recorded the other day. Um, and I've talked to you about this movie before. Um, and if you haven't seen this movie before, or you, it's been a while, you have got to watch this movie. It's called The Paper. And the, the movie is from the uh, early 90s, I believe. It stars um, uh, the, the greatest Batman of all time, Michael Keaton, uh, the real I Am Batman. Uh, Michael Keaton uh, is the star of this movie with Marissa Tomei and uh, Robert Duvall and Glenn Close. Uh, there are some hitters in this movie, and uh, it's all about a newspaper. It's all about a 24-hour cycle of a newspaper. And I'm watching Michael Keaton, who's a city editor, and, and he's the guy who has an office that everybody comes to, and, 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 and he is handling 25 things at the same time. This guy... Uh, and this movie is the closest thing I can refer you to uh, if you want to know what my life was like as a general manager of a brokerage house, a national firm in Calgary in the 80s. You want to know what my day was like? Watch the movie The Paper. <laughs> now, uh, uh, I'm only saying it from how hectic it was in the office. Nothing else. Uh, there are scenes in this movie where... He gets into a fist fight, and and uh, it's over the top. That, that that didn't happen with me. I, we didn't have that. But the craziness of the office and the the fifteen things going on simultaneously that I had to be involved with and had to be part of and had to make split decisions on. 
um, was absolutely real. And uh, you forget, uh, even you know, over the years, you forget just how intense that job was, and and what what I had to go through every day of the week as a as a manager of twenty five crazy brokerage people. I mean, they were all nuts. I'm nuts. My 10, 15 support staff, they're all crazy. All the firms we do business with, all the other houses we do business with, all the floor traders and the characters that come through the office, the promoters and the clientele and the, the crazy story. Uh, watch the paper. You ever get a chance, you have to watch it with, on a, you know, a DVD or whatever. Um, and you'll get a sense uh, just watching Michael Keaton just go through the ringer and you'll get a snippet of what my life was like for uh, years and years and years and years. And uh, wouldn't have traded for the world uh, because, man, were you on top of the world. Unbelievable. And the language that's being used in that, that movie is, is tame, com very tame compared to real life. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd mention that today and uh, you check it out. Anyway, 234.60 on the uh, GameStop right now. Uh, with 19 minutes to go before we open for the day. Uh, let us take a look at some of our other favorites. Uh, Gore's Holdings, I'm showing now at, um, looks like 14.55, still up 19 cents. We have IPOE pre-market at about 19.97 to 20 bucks a share. And we have AMC at the moment showing 17.98. I just saw a headline a few moments ago, AMC gets downgraded on valuation only uh, as B. Riley analyst can't justify a higher target. <laughs> the stock has exceeded his price target, but he can't raise his price target. He, he's just going, stock has exceeded the price target that I had for the stock. And, you know, it's kind of a hold. <laughs> he, he won't say sell. No analyst will say sell. He's just kind of going, oh, well, it's exceeded, it's exceeded the uh, price target. <laughs> Code, get the hell out of Dodge. Run, Forrest, run. Take the money. Uh, that's what he's saying, but he's not going to say it because his employer won't let him. Um, conflict of interest? Nah, no, there's, no con there's no conflict here. Stocks only go up at brokerage houses. They never go down. John Ito, thank you for becoming a member of this channel. Love having you, man. I'm telling you guys, it is <laughs> it's so much fun. Welcome to the markets uh, in plain English here uh, for Wednesday, May the 26th, 2021, as we get ready to open up for another fun day here in the morning uh, to try to make sense of what the heck is happening. Uh, the Dow is up 61. S&P is up nine and a half. NASDAQ is up 40 points. We have a nothing opening. I mean, this is positive, but it's nothing. If we were up 250 points on the Dow, we were up 350 on NASDAQ, we were, you know, that would be an opening, right? This is nothing. And this might be a good thing. It might be the best that we have a quiet, you know, slightly positive opening, nothing kooky crazy, because it would allow this market to build a bit of a base, maybe to go from here. Keep in mind, the Dow is within one or two percentage points of its all-time high, as is NASDAQ. Uh, sorry, as is S&P, NASDAQ is around 4 or 5% away from its all-time high. So these markets are way up there, okay? Uh, they're not coming down anytime soon. They're going to go higher. They will go higher for the rest of this year, but there will be the, you know, there will be the uh, choppiness. The amount of cash coming through the U.S. economy right now and building through this U.S. economy is into the multi-trillions every month it is huge and that is why you are seeing like this morning dick sporting goods blew the doors off their estimates wait for gamestop i'm convinced gamestop will have blown the doors off their estimates for their first quarter i think they're sitting on this news they know it they're holding it they're holding it right here they're not let, even at the stock at 234 they're not saying a word if they were to say that now like today <laughs> we can move the stock to 260, but they're not doing it. I think they're waiting for their new CEO announcement. They'll have that, and then they'll have the financials with the annual meeting. The, the, whole, the whole thing will be all in one day. The financials and the annual meeting will be done simultaneously. And, and you know, they're going to talk about the, the, the second quarter and the third quarter. And, oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> Hold on. As I desperately reach for a Kleenex. <laughs> So much fun is coming around the corner. 
Uh, we have only just begun to enjoy ourselves. Folks, thank you, everybody. Um, what can I say? Um, let's see. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I saw a YouTube video, says John Van, uh, yesterday. Someone sold one GameStop share for $5,124.50 on January the 28th on Robinhood at the Open. Is this for real? How can we find out? Uh, it's not for real. <laughs> it's Richie. Marco, you cannot move from eToro without selling your shares. Also, they take a, a main amount of a percentage point when you are emptying your account. I've read that on so many accounts, says Richie. So there's issues there with that brokerage, I guess. Uh uh, what else is going on? Love all you apes, says uh, Hologram. Um, uh, God bless you, Uncle B. Thank you, everybody. Uh, okay, we need a sneeze emoji. Um, easy. Uh, this is so easy. Uh, it, 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 that was easy. That was easy. The shares are going higher. That's so easy. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Can we auction off that Kleenex? It's, uh, it, it's not hard to imagine. Wow, I wish... Uh, What's that say? Wow, I wish I could sneeze like that. Get the crud out. Uh, <laughs> I put a video on Discord. I Oh, my gosh. I put that video on Discord. All right. Um, Uncle Bruce, my cost basis for EXPI is 34, current price 28. You can write a covered call for 35, expiring December with a 440 premium. In your opinion, is this a good strategy? Uh, so you bought a stock at 34 something. It's trading at 28 something. And you can write a $35 contract for December. To bring in 440 so you know that would go against your cost uh so bring your cost base down to like 34 uh, 30 307 um uh, and, and even if the shares only go to 34.99 you get to keep the 440 so that's a very healthy premium i have to admit that is a very healthy premium um and if you're going to be a you're you want to be a long-term shareholder anyway uh not a bad way to go um the other hand maybe you can look at um Maybe writing a 34 for October, and maybe you can bring in just as much money, but only hold the contract for you know three and a half months or four months instead of six or eight. Uh, uh, but again, it's up to you. Right now, um, you're looking at um, seven, eight months time frame before the expiry, and uh, we're talking about 20 days a month. That's 140 days for four dollars and forty cents. What can you get for a one month contract? Maybe writing a uh, Maybe writing a 30 or a 31. What can you get? Can you get uh, more per day for that? Can you write a two-week contract that's a 30 and bring in, um, you know, triple the amount per day than you can writing that 440 contract? Can you increase your daily take? So you're, you're, you might be writing a 120 contract, but you only have to go two and a half weeks. Uh, can you get a buck and a half on a contract for only 10 trading days, um, 15 cents a day for your stock? maybe that's the best way to go because you multiply 15 cents a share times 140 days and and uh, you get $20 uh, for your stock uh, as opposed to 440. Uh, look into that. All right, Jens, Jens, the new member. Hi there, Jens. Uh, thank you for joining up here and, and becoming part of the crazy kooky gang that we are. I appreciate you being here and I love it. Uh, option strategies, guys, uh, there are a million of them and uh, we are going to be going over these in a class, um, uh, in a number of classes that I think uh, that I know I'm organizing already, um, we are working on a class, uh, uh, a group of, <laughs> a collection of classes over a number of topics over an amount of time, um, and I'll let you know when we're ready to proceed on that front. I know a lot of you would like to be part of the class, and uh, I'm going to try to explain to you how you can be paid to hold stock since you're a shareholder anyway of companies. You might as well be paid to hold stock. Uh, especially stocks where you're down on the stock or you're even on the stock or you're up and you want to you know, lock in profits or you want to continue to enjoy uh, you know, revenues. So you don't want to sell the stock because you're a long-termer beyond. Um, so many of you do not know when to sell. You don't know when to sell a position. Um, and uh, uh, we'll have to go, we're going to go into this. Uh, so uh, stand by. And uh, as soon as we're ready to announce, we'll, we'll move into it and we'll kind of go from there. Thank you everybody uh, for this and thank you for these questions. Um, and we're going to have some fun. Uh, we know the exit strategy as soon as we land on the moon. Um, KN, thank you, KN, for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate that. I hope you're all making money today. I hope you're getting richer. Uh, that would be beautiful. Uh, I want you guys to be really getting rich. Um, anyway, there you have it. Uh, I've been lurking, but today I'm finally green again, so i got to be a member since Bruce has been holding my hand all, since February. 
Jens, that's great stuff. Thank you for uh, for popping in here uh, and becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate it. Jen and I uh, are just um, uh, we 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 are relieved every time we have new members coming in and renewals. We we breathe a sigh of relief that we're not a one month channel. We're not a two month channel. We're we're gonna we're gonna be around a while. Uh, th th this is just telling us that. You want us to keep it going, and uh, we we really do appreciate it. This is your this is your way to show us that uh, these memberships are are everything. They're huge. It's our our number one source of income. Our memberships, um, no question out, no out out no question about it. Absolutely no other way around it. It's our number one source of revenue that we know we're going to earn to be here, which frees me up to be doing what I do. I I, I can just zoom in on this. Thank you all. Uh, 10 minutes to go until we start training. CNBC, they're running commercials. Um, 234 on GameStop right now is the current market on the stock. Uh, let me take a look at other uh, scenarios. We have AMC at $18.16. Um, um, uh, Let's see. Okay, uh, we've got uh, 18.13 on AMC, up a dollar seventy-two, eighteen oh eight now. Uh, we have um, uh, IPOE sitting at uh, 1993 pre-market. We have uh, Gore's Holdings uh, at uh, 1429 at the moment, jumping around. Thank you also to Ivan Ivanoff for coming a member. Hi Ivan, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for being here. Uh, we got uh, uh, 1.25 million trading in the pre-market um, on GameStop. Yeah, at least. Yep, it's uh, doing all right. Um, welcome, Ivan. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, uh, GameStop 233-ish right now, uh, 234 just about. There you go. Uh, that's what we have pre-opening for some of these stocks. Uh, we are opening in eight or so minutes, and let's see what's happening. Thank you. Those of you who are giving us thumbs up this morning, we have 870 going already. I appreciate that. Love to hit 1,000 before we open for the day, if that's possible. 869 right now. They're coming in. We got eight minutes to go, and we only need 131 thumbs ups to hit a thousand already, guys. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up, pushing this channel to the YouTube community, uh, because the AI computers over there recognize the the thumb up momentum, the engagement that we have. Here we are, 9:38. It's happening, and they will promote this channel to people who've never heard of us before, which means more people can follow your GameStop, can follow your IPOE or your Gore's Holdings and others and there we are 1000 thumbs ups and climbing right now thank you all of you so much 234.23 on uh, gamestop right now uh jw brand new member another new member thanks jw for coming in as well uh love it all of you ivan and jw guys thank you girls thank you we have women joining us as members men joining us from around the world absolutely incredible trevor Thank you for the $5 super sticker. These are absolutely phenomenal. I so appreciate it. Those of you out there who've been making donations to us uh, through PayPal, uh, we cannot thank you enough for these PayPal donations. They are, um, they are the best donation you could possibly make to our channel. Uh, we end up with 96% of the proceeds through a PayPal donation versus 70% from Super Chats. Uh, but we are we're just you know thank you <laughs> we can't thank you enough all righty um 232.66 on gamestop uh scott thank you for the super sticker thank you ten dollars beautiful um how high can we go hey guys and bruce think tomorrow we could time a thousand thumbs ups at the bell you know what i'd love to see is ten thousand thumbs ups before the bell that's what i really want i want to see twenty five thousand people here uh on a pre-opening uh we would have power serious power we we uh, talk about uh, an undervalued stock with twenty five thousand viewing um wow we would have power uh, we're one tenth of the way there 2700 people here right now which is the best number in a couple of weeks thank you all for joining and uh, uh you guys uh, have to realize you are a powerful group of investors you really are you're you're into gamestop and you're holding it you're not offering it for sale that's a problem for the street in that there is no stock to get. Uh, if there's buying coming in from newbies, they can't get your paper. Not down here, not at these cheap prices, because you know what I know. This thing has been as high as 483 already, and it's going to go higher than that. That That is the end game, no question. How much higher? Stick around. Um, GameStop has got so much going on, and now this new NFT 
uh, Ethereum uh, website platform thingy uh, that I know this much about. I'm not an expert in this area, but I can smell it. I can smell the the uh, power of uh, of buying going to come into this stock. The uh, the overwhelming number of shares that are going to be picked off um, going forward now over the next several weeks and months. I don't think, well, I know Wall Street doesn't get it. I, I'm convinced, I, CNBC doesn't know a, a damn thing. They haven't got a clue, clueless about the amount of buying power that is about to enter the GameStop share world. Uh, everyone thinks it's a meme stock. It's memes. It's just memes. It's, it's those crazy retail investors that Congress should shut down. That's who, that, what's what they think it is. It's not it. Uh, it's not it. There are billions of dollars, I think tens of billions of dollars of buying power that are about to be unleashed on GameStop stock over the next several months from a source we never thought about. I, I've always been up on the new CEO, the financials, becoming an e-commerce company, Ryan Cohen taking over the company, becoming the chairman of the board of directors. That's what got me going. I, I'm pumped about that. This Ethereum uh, uh, NFT thing, this is for me out of left field and it's bigger than everything that I've been thinking about. It's even bigger. So that's the fourth thing. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, this stock's about to really go. Uh, that's my humble opinion, but is it gonna happen this second right now in the next four minutes? No guarantee, uh, may not. Uh, we might be at what, 215, 220. 205 in the first hour of the market and then it then it rocks it I don't I don't know it's at 231 in the pre-market right now 1.4 million traded we are four minutes away uh, so we're gonna find out very quickly uh, what's gonna happen this is gonna be fun uh, so much fun thank you everybody for being here this morning thank you for those of you who are subscribing to this channel becoming subscribers of this channel is uh, humbling for Jennifer and I we so appreciate you joining us becoming part of the family, um, hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, if you become a member, you can make comments here on this uh, show, on this channel, and um, welcome one, welcome all. 1,300 thumbs ups already. We haven't even opened for the morning yet. Very, very impressive. Thank you, everybody, for really putting us on the uh, on the speed dial today. We're rolling here. Uh, Mr. Clicks Fix uh, has learning more about NFT from games to change your opinion about mud since tops is selling NFTs. You know, um, I'm a click fix again. I, I'm not against that deal. Um, I think it's, I think it's great that tops is going public through a SPAC. I think it is, but the size of the deal is what I want to, I would really wish it were a much, much bigger and much more heavily funded deal, but I don't have anything against it. Uh, I'm just not recommending it as a, sure fire watch this go like crazy deal but they could well do well they could do very well i i'm i'm not uh, not against them uh but i'm they're not on my recommended list yet uh, i need i need more time i need more uh i just need more lots i need more a lot of everything scott sicora thank you for this uh if i haven't already thanked you i appreciate it um and again trevor thank you and uh, jw welcome as a member uh, again thanks you guys uh, one last time because these messages are coming through here like wildfire as I uh, desperately try to watch what uh, the comments are coming through. If I'm missing your questions, it's uh, I'm not ignoring them. I'm just not seeing them. Uh, it is just too much happening here. We're trying to watch the opening. And, uh, you know, this is a hectic time of the morning right now. We're at uh, two minutes to go unless Kramer's talking about Ford. Uh, Ford is up 38 cents. Woohoo! Um, great. Uh, Ford, you're only five years behind Tesla. And in five years, you're still five years behind Tesla. Um, it's not like Tesla's going to stand still for the next five years, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, Ford, way to go. Uh, come on into the, uh, to the EV market. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they figured it out. They got to get into this EV market. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no way to not do it, but, um, are you going to un unseat Tesla as as uh, you know as the most profitable EV producer of all time? It's going to take a while, and uh, Tesla is getting their act together right across. Anyway, there you have it. Um, to a to a Toki Dog uh, is Xterra announces first quarter twenty one results. X is Xtra, which is uh, Zykstra is merging with uh, one of our SPACs. 
and uh, that is good news. Um, I'm happy to see that. Kind of curious to see the Zykstra. Um, this is SVAC, by the way. It's going to become Zykstra. I'm um, looking forward to seeing the numbers on Zykstra. Um, if you see those Tonky Dong, let me know, would you, please? Um, as I'm trying to follow a million other things. We're a minute to go. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to roll, baby. Ignition, uh, getting ready to start this puppy up. Uh, pull the cord of that lawnmower. Here go the bells, baby. We're happening now. Woohoo! Let's start trading this morning. Welcome to Wednesday, May the 26th, 2021. Holy moly macaroni. IPOE, 255,000 first trade at 211, 2011, let's call it. Uh, down seven cents on the opening trade. GameStop showing 227.17, up $17 on 1.78 million first trade. So there you go. As I have suspected, um, you know, do not be surprised that even though they were as high as 237 on the pre, 227 right now, 226.92, uh, 1.7 million. That's where we are at this moment in time. And let's just see how this market wants to uh, take it. Uh, where does it want to go? Uh, 1.78. Um, AMC, 1758 up a dollar 19. 1760 right at the moment on 24.9 million opening trade. Uh, Gore's Holdings, 1443 up 7 cents on 28,700 shares. VGAC at 996. Um, fifth uh, Wall Acquisition, FWAA at 1058 up 8 cents. Another one of our SPACs. The other SPACs we have, uh, Vector, V-A-C-Q at 991, up a penny. Navsite Holdings, 990, unchanged. Starboard Value, S-V-A-C, up a penny at 991. Fortress Value, 10 bucks, up a penny. Vanek Vectors, up 63 cents. Uh, we have Home Depot, up a buck 91. IBM, down 18 cents. The Dow, up 70. It's showing 70, 53, so I'm jumping around. Microsoft, up a buck 15. Apple, up 39 cents. Tesla, up two bucks to 606. BlackBerry. It's up 60 cents to 24.34. Uh, uh, cruise lines are higher. Um, uh, the CDC and Royal Caribbean have cut a deal. Royal Caribbean will be allowed to offer test cruises on the Freedom of the Seas. And the shares were uh, up $1.17 now to $90.17. There's a put contract available there on that stock, but you got to go out eight months uh, at least. You want to be in a put contract on Royal Caribbean for downside. And I'm thinking down to 50 from here, uh, but it's not happening this second. Uh, the higher this thing goes, the more attractive a put could be. Norwegian, 3183. Carnival, 2887. They're both up a couple of percentage points. Amazon up $16. Uh, Facebook down 47 cents. Google up seven bucks. That's what we got this morning. Let's get back to our favorites here. IPOE at $20.10. 336,000 now. Um, we've got GameStop, 236.46, up $27 on the morning to start the day off with 2.6 million. I figured that, you know, two, three million in the first few minutes should have happened, and it's happening. Uh, no surprise here. 238.53, up $29. Uh, AMC, 1810, up 169. This is right around the high of the day. 33 million traded so far. Uh, Gore is moving up again now, 1454, up 18 cents. Tonight after the bell, we hear about the Matterport finances, the financials. There you go. That is our opening, uh, our opening morning salvo to start things off. Um, and uh, let's see here, uh, nothing much else to talk about there. The Dow up 80, uh, S&P up 7, and NASDAQ up 44. Oil down 64 cents a barrel right now. There you have it, guys. Uh, let's see what's going on. We've got to uh, let this market settle in and see what it wants to do. Um, the high and the low for GameStop seems to be 225 to 239, 238.53 right now, up $29. That's higher than the pre-market. And those of you who have written contracts on your on your uh, GameStop, just breathe, relax, enjoy the run-up in your price. Um, Keep that premium in your pocket and just let this stock figure itself out over the next hour or two or three. It's now 241. It's going to it's going to do this, um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, where else are we at here? AMC 1826 up buck 85. Gore is now up seven cents, and um, and the Dow is now up 93 points. Still a a an okay opening, but it's only a quarter of one percent. This is not like a major. Dow surge of incredible fortune, but it's okay. Um, 
Nasdaq up 41, S P up 7.9. So, so all three indexes are up between a, a 0.2 percent and 0.3 percent on the day. Not even not even a third of a percentage point, but it's the right direction. So there we have it. Um, Carl Icon says crypto may be here to stay, but has never bought any. Uh, the slow acceptance of this is, seems to be happening here and there with some more people. But I I, I understand what he's talking about because I don't get it either. 239 on GameStop, 238 on GameStop right now on your stock everybody uh how about them apples uh is anyone having fun today is anyone richer today i hope some of you are making money today um steven um uh, became a new member stephen farrell thank you stephen welcome to the gang that was easy. nice to have you here 235 on gamestop uh settling down a little bit again it it will it hit a high of 243 for that amount of time now 235.95 as it sort of uh, you know backfills, so this is this is normal, uh, and this is what we should be expecting. To, uh, th- uh, Three point six million on the volume now on uh, GameStop uh, at the moment. Two thirty four fifty eight, two thirty five eighty three. As we jump back and forth, and back and forth, around and around and around we go. Uh, welcome all to the show. Let's rock, says Ron. Um, and the up the high of two forty three. Uh, day traders are going to have a field day. Dan, we're up ten percent this morning. Uh, easy, Uncle Bruce. It's easy. Um, and uh, let's see. William says, "Yeah, buy and hold and vote. Wake me up when we hit fifty thousand a share." <laughs> well, we'll see how it wants to behave today. Two thirty six twenty three right now. The Dow now up sixty four, up fifty two. The Dow is now up fifty two points. In the first few minutes, we are trying to figure out this direction. A twenty ten on IPOE. Uh, if this is a down dip, bring it on. Uh, down eight cents on four hundred thirty-five thousand. You sure love. I sure love how this thing goes up and gives back a little. Goes up, give back a little. Goes up. I uh, like the IPOE here. Um, and uh, let's see uh, what else have we got going on here. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah, Doug. Doug loves this stuff. Uh, uh, those who want to understand what's happening with GameStop, look at the T plus thirty six and the T plus twenty two analysis that provides a theory of what's being confirmed this week. Uh, there's a lot of that on the uh, Wall Street bets and, and and Reddit pages. What kind of blast off bagel are we having today? I don't know. I don't know. Andrew Ross Sorkin sure is worried about the meme stocks. Why? Because he cares. Uh, yeah, he cares. All right. Farragut, should I sell my IPOE and buy more uh, GameStop? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> should you should you buy uh, should you buy a shoe and buy a sock? Uh, what do I do here? Oh my gosh, two thirty six on GameStop, twenty ten on IPOE. Um, uh, currency as being true by blockchain outside currency. I don't know what this means. Okay, I'm back. Uh, laughing out loud. I'm back. Um, I just bought IPOE, VGAC, and and GHVI calls. Um, way to go. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, uh, this I don't know, Leon. I don't know the answer to this question. How long does it? Do you see your account have to be worth this to be allowed to day trade? Don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm torn between buying more IPOE shares or calls. Um, attendees are in the oven. Um, 233 last trade, 234 last trade on GameStop right now. Um, and uh, we're up 37, 38 points on the Dow now, 39. S&P up four, Nasdaq up 44 points. That's what we got at this moment, folks. Um, let's see. Yep. Also think NFTs could be used for digital trade-ins. Uh, thank you, Uncle Bruce, for keeping us calm through the dark days. Uh, picked up lots more shares since the last run, thanks to you. I know that a bunch of you were buying GameStop in the 160s, the 150s, the 140s, getting those dips. You're jumping in there. Now you're all up 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks a share, 80 bucks a share. I'm a happy guy. Uh, I, I'm very proud of you guys. Um, you bind, you hold on here, and uh, just let her run. Let her do its thing. 232, 90 roughly. Um, looking okay. I'm buying GHVI today while it's still in the 14s. Um, and should I sell my food and buy more water? Uh, help me out here, Bruce. Um, and uh, I just bought 100 GHVI and 100 VGAC to write some right on. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Connor saying, "Gonna write some contracts." Uh, v- v- Vibas, Vilbas, Bruce was calling it the uh, a screaming buy if it fell into the 1516s earlier this year. Uh, which one? Uh, which one? Um, oh my gosh! Um, I'm just I, I I'm just buying a new boyfriend. That's all I'm doing. Um, 
Uh, fear of missing out buyers might ironically be the catalysts. Uh, la I'm laughing here. It could be. Um, let's see. I would like uh, I like calls at this point on IPOE. That, but that's just me. 1994 down 24 cents. There's a dip on IPOE, folks. Um, there's an opportunity here if you're thinking of contracts for the end of the year uh, and into next year. That would be the the the, the timing is here. The Pricing is coming in. 232, 232.84 on GameStop right now, up $23 a share. AMC 1770, up $1.28. They got as high as 18.45 this morning on 53 million. Uh, again, the AMC crowd are looking for the stock to go to all-time highs beyond beyond. So they're they're looking well above 20. Um, um, it is it is it is up. It is up to here. Uh, it hit the 18 level. Uh, and it's traded, you know, a lot of millions of shares. Um, will it go that much higher? Anyone's guess? I don't know, but that's where you're at right now in AMC. Of course, 1441 up a nickel. Uh, VGAC 997 unchanged. Fifth wall up 17 cents to 1067. Vector at 990. Nav site at 992. Starboard 992. Fortress at 999. That's where you're at right now on these facts that we're following. Here, 1956 on IPOE, an opportunity is coming your way. Um, the stock hit 2173 yesterday, 2173, right around this first hour. And so it is off a dollar thirty from the high yesterday when a lot of you thought you'd missed it. Um, here we are, 1942, IPOE might be the catch uh let's see what happens i sold faii ipo is too much money too much honey um but i joined back with profits uh to fii hope today not tomorrow uh red ginger snaps okay gotta jam my beautiful bagel family thumbs ups and cheers to a green day there you go 236.58 on gamestop uh wally's world stock market i got things to do here uh uh i want dates times and how much come on man let's cut to the chase <laughs> I want to know exactly what's going to happen at exactly what time and exactly to what extent. Uh, we love the Bruce. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we love Bruce. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else is going on? Um, uh, I'm hyperventilating. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, what I said about digital used games weeks ago has come true. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, everything is so green. I'm confused. Uh and I can't stop at this point. Um, and uh, thank you all. Thank you all so much. Uh, trying to keep your comments in line here. Um, let's see. Yes, we did. We had some really nice dips together on the on the Bagel Gang. We sure did. 232.68 on GameStop. 232. Do not be surprised if it backs off to the 220 mark. It could easily do this. Um, it, it could run to 245, 250, and, and it back off to 210. This might now have a range in this, you know, low 200 range as it's settling in or discovering itself or news keeps coming. I mean, there's there's, there's action here. Uh, there's no question about it. We're at 4.8 million shares of volume here. So there's a lot of folks trying to figure out what to do. Um, you, those of you who written option contracts, uh, some of you are now uh, finding that the options you wrote that were out of the money are now at the money or are in the money but they're not that far in the money. They're kind of the 220s or 1011 in the money. Um, some of them die in a couple of days. Some of them are dying next week, the week after. Um, just watch this market. And uh, if you see the shares you know, dip down to the 205, 210 range, you might be able to scoop up those contracts, just buy them back at a, at a lower price than you sold them at and sit back and then rewrite the calls, maybe at you know, the stock bouncing back into the 230, 40 range, right 280s, right 300s, um, see how it how it goes. You can do the rollover. Um, you'll always be able to do the rollover as long as you haven't been exercised. We're at 232.60, and we're going to jump around. It, it, there's $20 of movement either way right now on this stock. So it can go down to 212, up to 252. Do not be surprised if we see this here. And that's why day traders are all over these stocks for a Training pop-up possibilities and adding a lot of liquidity and a lot of volatility. So there you have it. Those of you who have not written contracts against your your GameStop, uh, you've been thinking about it. Uh, now you have opportunities to start thinking about. Well, should I write three hundred dollar call contracts that are good for a month 
I might bring in thirty thirty five dollars a contract. Uh, that would give me three thirty five if got to, if I got taken out. Um, do you want to write a five hundred dollar contract for three months? You could probably bring it in. You might bring in thirty to fifty bucks a contract. Can you write seven hundred dollar contracts for seven months and bring in fifty sixty bucks? Hey, it's up to you. Um, you can write contracts that expire this Friday. Uh, that uh, you know, if you want to write two fifties that expire this Friday, you're at two thirty five right now on the stock. What can you bring in? Eight, ten, twelve dollars a contract. I'm not looking at the option chain, so I'm just guessing. Um, it could be some nice quick cash. Again, you 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 have to decide for yourself. Just what's your tolerance level? Or are you just going to sit back and do this and go? No, nah, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to wait this out. Uh, up to you. Two thirty four fifty four on GameStop. A lot of opportunity to make a lot of money here. Nineteen twenty six on IPOE. Now there's opportunity here to scoop up some stock. Um, but again, you have to. Uh, you can buy the stock or you can buy contracts. You've got to decide whether you want to uh, uh, pick off calls for. Like I said, next this January, like later out, you want to go out. Maybe now 20s are, are the price you want to pay. Maybe the 2250s are super cheap. Uh, comes any lower, uh, 1750s might be in your wheelhouse. Take a look, 1916 down a dollar two on IPOE. That's what we have right now. There's no news on the stock and nothing been said. The, and the meeting's tomorrow. The shareholder meeting is tomorrow. Uh, so... So far, it will become. Um, keep an eye. Uh, this is bargain time. I don't know how much longer you're going to get this. There you have it. Uh, okay, let's keep moving here. Thank you, everybody. Uh, bought more GHVI. Gores down a nickel, 1431. There's a deal there to be had. Exactly. Oh, the holy moly, guacamole on macaroni. Uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> Uh, Wally's world. I'm trying. I'm trying. He. Oh my gosh. I wonder if the fleece got hiccups. Uh, let's see. Um, man. Oh man. Not smiling. Just waiting for that insane illegal sell-off we usually have. Um, and uh, here we go. Three hundred bucks. Still a cheap moon ticket. Um, IPOE drop below the thirty uh, RSA line. Soon to bounce back. Um, and uh, Bill, I gotta admit it, all this screen has me in shock. Uh, 232 on GameStop, and um, uh, 1914 on IPOE, uh, 231 on GameStop, uh, AMC 1772, Gores 1431 down a nickel, uh, as we're at right now. The Dow up 12 points, uh, S&P up 0.41, and Nasdaq up 40. So the markets are backing off on the big board right now. Again, dip a dip is coming in. Normal to expect after such a run what we've had here. This is where you guys can take advantage of these uh, of these moves and uh, get yourselves aligned the way you want. Just saying. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Stock marks the Bruce. What do you think of this? VGAC 750 20, 2021 January 22nd call, a $100 at $3 ask. Did your nephew do all right? Um, so at three dollars ask on a seven fifty for VGAC that's in the money about two forty six. Um, that's only a fifty cent premium. Nothing wrong with that. The stock goes to fifteen. It's a seven fifty plus premium. That'll be about a nine dollar nine fifty contract. The stock went to twenty. You got twelve fifty. You got about a fifteen dollar contract, fourteen dollar contract uh, for three bucks. Uh, that's a nice return. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, first share one hundred thirty loaded up at fifty and dozens between. 140 and 170. Uh, how about a 300 bucks at the end of the day for GameStop? How about that? 231.50 on GameStop. 1932 on IPOE coming back up again. Um, and uh, thanks, Bruce. I just bought one IBM. I started with a limit order, 50 cents less than the market. Then I remember you said, "Don't let pennies interfere with dollars." Well done. Um, see, snagged an IPOE January 22 call, preparing for takeoff. Beautiful. Let's go GameStop. Um, DVF has made $5 million from yesterday's close until right now. Just think about that for a second. Wow, $5 million. Just picked up 15 more shares, so it'll be possibly, it, it'll, it will probably dip now. Uh, can't stop and won't stop the GameStop. There you go. Um, I think my employer is going to see a, a dip in my productivity today. <laughs> Nineteen forty on IPOE. Um, $23 gain right now on the GameStop. And uh, it's 232.50 right now. AMC is 17.93, coming back up again. It uh, backed off a little bit, but now popping a little higher. 18.45 is a high of the day on AMC. 17.88 last trade, up a dollar 47. Volume, very good volume. 66.8 million 
on AMC. That is where we're at this second. Gores down six cents to fourteen thirty. Uh, VGAC nine ninety seven. Fifth wall up fourteen cents to ten sixty four. Vector is nine ninety. Uh, Navsite nine ninety. Starboard nine ninety two. And Fortress at ten bucks. Those are the other spacs I follow. There you have it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Um, here we go. Adam is saying, uh, looking at level two on IPOE, it looks like someone is driving the price down, throwing down 12,000 share buy walls. And this was posted about seven minutes ago. We're 1935 right now. IPOE taking it in. Uh, let's see. I sold my American Airlines for IPOE. I hope this goes well. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on? Um, uh, Miriam, uh, hello, Bruce. I uh, you, uh, hope you are well. Um, I hope you're well too, Miriam. How you doing? Uh, a friend of mine wants to buy GameStop now, but should he wait for a dip or buy now? They want to buy a lot. I mean, they want to buy a lot. Well, it's two twenty-eight. We are get, we got a dip going on GameStop, and I, I've been kind of guessing we would get one, and wouldn't be surprised if we did. Uh, this is not a sell-off of gargantuan proportions. It's still up eighteen ninety a share. Um, but it could drop to the 210 mark uh, today, 205, 210, 215. I uh, don't know if it'll go much lower than that necessarily, um, but there's a lot of uh, speculation here on this uh, NFT uh, Ethereum uh, platform that they're involved with now, uh, taking this company to another level that that we hadn't even been talking about here. Uh, everything else about the company is so exciting anyway, but this is really something, 227. So. Keep your eye open if you see it drop enough, uh, you know, get in there. Um, what can I say? Those of you who are uh, who have written call contracts against GameStop, uh, as I've been saying all morning, breathe and just relax. Let this stock do what it's going to do. Um, backs off enough and you find that you are able to scoop up a call contract that you wrote uh, at a lower price than you wrote it at. Uh, you might want to just go flat, buy the call back or calls back, uh, sit tight, and if it wants to take a little run here to 240, 250, whatever, you might write 280s or 290s or 300s uh, for a week or two or three and take advantage of a nice, uh, uh, nice premium on a beautiful rollover. So if you're buying a call back at 15 and selling one for 30, or you're buying one back at 12 and selling it for 24, or you're buying back one for, for 15 and selling it for 20, uh, there's opportunity here. Uh, there could be much more than that. Uh, just keep an eye on how it's doing. It's 226 on GameStop as it is uh, finding itself uh, this morning because it's had a heck of an opening. 1925 on IPOE right now. That's what we're showing there on the GameStop right now, 229.33. Volume on GameStop, just to update you, 6 million and IPOE volume, 1.59 million right now. Uh, AMC volume at 17.89, 72 million. Gore's volume at 14.30, down 6 cents, 90,000. <laughs> Uh, three are trading actively, one not so much, and uh, the one not so much is the sleeper. Uh, Earnings coming out tonight on Matterport. There you go. Thank you. Uh, what can I say? Welcome all. Welcome, welcome. The Dow now is down seven points. Uh, S&P down 0.81. And NASDAQ up 40 points. That's what we got at the moment. Uh, let's see what's happening, folks. We've got to move up here. Um, we got to move up. I've got, I'm so behind on messages. Caddy San, thank you. Um, um, first of all, thanks for all your time. What do you think about clove? Greetings from uh, Germany. Uh, no opinion on clove. I don't follow it. Uh, I don't have an opinion on it. Um, and uh, that's all I can say. I got nothing. Um, and uh, um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, what can I say? Wally, uh, you remember uh, when you had, I had two live viewers? They were going at it like Latin dog. Where is Colin? And, and when you need him, uh, danger, um, calling danger. I don't know. I, I, it's all good. Um, anyway, uh, uh, getting your coverage calls exercise just feels bad. Uh, I don't think it does. I, I don't think so. I think getting taken out at a price you're happy getting with a nice fat premium and then turning around, buying the stock back and doing it again, I say do it 10 times over and get rich that way. That's what the market wants to do. Let it do it. Um, no, no problem. GME implied volatility, 172. Hope you're all having a great morning. Um, uh, there we go. 1.5 thousand thumbs ups. Good going, guys. Thank you, everybody, for the 1,500 thumbs ups and counting. I appreciate it very much. Uh, this was already 
uh, what? Uh, this is like eight minutes ago. Thank you, everybody. Um, should I write puts on GameStop? I'm not going there. Uh, two thirty on GameStop up twenty one dollars. Nineteen twenty six on IPOE up ninety two down ninety two cents. AMC at eighteen ten over eighteen again, and uh, Gore's at fourteen twenty eight down eight cents. That's what we have right now. The Dow down seven and S and P up a half a point. Nasdaq up 45, so the market seems to be bouncing up the other direction again. It's kind of right around this, you know, flat line. What can I say? Wally's World, uh, Invisible uh, invisible Aid. Wally's, a few of us have been here since early January when Bruce had less than 1,000. That's true, and I appreciate all of you for being here. I love you guys. IPOE is heavily short at 34% of the float, which puts IPOE in line for a run, of course. Um, let's see, um, let's see, let's see, um, uh, what happened to the guy, uh, who sold at 160, waiting for it to go to back 140, uh, well, that can happen, uh, that can happen, um, let's see here, um, uh, let's see what else is going on, uh, 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 you know, when, when the short squeeze happens, Uncle Bruce will go from four foot eight inches tall to five foot eight inches tall, how about that, he'll grow a foot, um, uh, let's see, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, uh, for hanging around. I love it. Um, are you having fun today? Is there anyone having a good time? Anybody making money today? Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. Uh, Robert Fleet, I have all your SPACs, minimum 50 shares of each, much heavier on uh, 1,575 IPOE at 600 VGAC. Looking forward to watch my portfolio grow. I think you're going to do just fine. And, um, you, you know, down the road, you're going to be the guy writing call contracts against your IPOE, but they're going to be in that $40 range, and uh, you're going to be bringing in some serious premiums. There's the there's your second step. Um, Uncle Bruce will need to see your TPS report once you start your master bagel classes. Okay, I'll look for this uh, type of post. Uh, if I only bought a dip at 200, 250, 300, yada, 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 I wish I'd bought those dips. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so much fun, everybody. Welcome all um, to the uh, to the deal here, and uh, uh, I'm, gl I'm glad you're having fun here. IPOE short borrowing fee is only at 261 percent. Haha, go nuts shorting it. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, my oh my oh my my my. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I think John Van's got it right. We're winning. I I think that's right. Two thirty ninety four. Uh, two thirty one ninety nine on GameStop. Um, let's see if I got that right. Two thirty two on GameStop now. Um, AMC eighteen thirty, approaching the high of the day. Gorse fourteen forty up four cents again. IPOE nineteen twenty seven down ninety one. Getting a little little better. Uh, the Dow still underwater now. Down thirty one points. S and P down one. Uh, Nasdaq up 46. It's a mixed market there. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm listening, but I'm trying to get my work done, says J. Ray. Um, and uh, welcome one, welcome all to the fun, fun, fun times. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Oh, sorry. Uh, gee whiz. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, my gosh. These comments are skipping by so quickly. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, the last time it took seven days to hit 483. It's going to be so much uh, fun soon. It's only Wednesday. Um, I don't know about that. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, where is Colin? Uh, uh, thanks, Bruce, for the last months. Um, uh, you're welcome, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like I picked a bad day to stop sniffing glue. Um, and uh, let's go. Uh, hey, Bruce, uh, Uncle Bruce, if it hits 300 by the end of the day, do you think Yoko could make an appearance on the channel today? Uh, maybe getting her to sing a little medley of tunes, like some polka songs. Oh, my. Uh, 233.97 on the GameStop, uh, up $24 today. Uh, we have 1,500 thumbs. Yoko is so far away, she's already on the moon waiting for us. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to feed her. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh my oh my oh my um let's see here um uh, what are your thoughts on mgm being bought up by amazon um uh just telling me that content is king uh content is everything um um amazon is buying content to put it on prime uh they're going to want to charge top dollar to do it if they can they want to keep others from showing their content elsewhere so they're going to have it for themselves. Disney is keeping content to themselves. Uh, Time Warner, Discovery, content to themselves. 
this is what's happening. So you know, the days of seeing mo this, the favorite movies of yours all over the place uh, are ero eroding. It's going to become so, you know like this, and uh, uh, you got to wonder: uh, is that good for consumers long term, or is this going to not work eventually? I, I don't know. Uh, see what's going around what's going on here um yeah doug parsons sam i suspect the gamestop pre-market and opening jump was because of the press release after hours yesterday it'll be stabilized around 2 30 things may change sharply as finra kicks in these are just my theories we have so much to watch doug you're on it uh, i appreciate it you're on it thank you for sharing with us there's a lot going on here um interesting a uh, four foot five inches to five foot five inches with no mention height of height bruce uh, that's all I'm saying. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, so what's your plan for the short squeeze? Are you going to live stream for it? Well, I'm here. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll cover it as best we can. But, uh, you know, we'll see what's going on. Um, anyway, uh, let's go. What's going on here? Um, sorry. Uh, gosh. Uh, what's that say? Uh, 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 uh. Um, and uh, level up. Uh, Gorse. Uh, to, uh, I don't know what this means. Uh yeah, I'm going to be busy today. That's right. I'm busy today, guys. Um, 1916 on IPOE down a dollar a share at 1918 now. 233.50 up 24 on GameStop. AMC 1886 up 246. That's a high today, isn't it? Uh, just about the high today right now on 91 million on AMC. There's a lot of speculation here happening on AMC. Gore's up 14.34 down two pennies. Not much going on. The Dow down 33. S&P down two. NASDAQ up 41. That's what we got right now uh, happening at this moment. Um, and uh, here you are. Lesson learned. Bill Coyne, uh, numerous times I kept waiting for a GameStop dip and missed every time. So I just bought my shares. The price is simply, to buy simply doesn't matter when you're going to the moon. There's that. 233 on GameStop right now. Um, humbling to see everyone asking about me, says Colin Dangerously. How about that? Um, hi, Wally, conduit, free thinker. Um, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a simple ape, but why on earth would anyone short IPOE? Uh, there are people actually thinking that after the SoFi merger, the stock's going to go down. Mistake. Massive mistake. Uh, no way. This stock's going way higher after that merger. This stock's going to trade 40 million shares a day. Uh, SoFi's going to be one of the most actively traded stocks, uh, period, on the NASDAQ. Uh, I think they're totally out to lunch. But, hey, uh, you're allowed to make mistakes. There you have it. I bought my first GME, um, bought my first GameStop on September 30th at 580. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, Wally's World, uh, Rob, I keep calling my boss and I keep getting my voicemail. Uh -uh. Uh, that's you. How uh, about that? Um, anyway, um, you know, all those requesting Yoko Pay triple membership fees. Uh, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You guys are great, says Wizard Owl. Um, and on a day like today, we need 2,000 thumbs ups to keep Yoko away from this channel. Well, we got 1,600 thumbs ups right now already here, and there are 2,700 of you hanging around. Thank you all. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think we keep Yoko away. I'm pretty feeling pretty good about this. Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, yeah, Urban Outfitter surges 13% uh, after first quarter earnings. Uh, surprise profit boost Abercrombie and Finch stock. Uh, wait for the GameStop first quarter financials. Uh, there might be a surprise for that. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. 232.82 on GameStop right now. 231.60. Jumping around. Okay. Um, what else is happening here? Comments coming in like crazy. Uh, what time will we see a bagel today? Um, and uh, Jeff, uh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Um, I was thinking about the bagels. Uh, waffle plot twist. Yoko is one of the whales driving up the price. Uh, Ace going, Yoko, Yoko, Yoko. Um, SB, Yoko, Loco, Lady, whoa, uh, Robert Fleet, I'm sure it'll be covered in class, but hypothetically, if someone was sitting on 2,000 shares of IPOE trading at 40 bucks, how much money can be made through covered calls? Well, uh, if you can write 20 covered calls on 2,000 shares, and you can bring in, uh, say, $2 in a month, uh, that's four thousand bucks a month. Uh, if you can bring in, um, depending on you know how high you write the premium, uh, what you know the exercise price, how long you're going to write the contract, you may find that at forty bucks a share, you can bring in uh, three dollars a share per month in premium revenues. Um, that's six thousand a month on two thousand shares of IPOE. 
Uh, something wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong. You, you, what did you pay for this stuff? Did you get it at 15 and you're bringing in $3 a month uh, with a $15 cost average? By every five months, you've brought out all your money. You've pull, and whatever it's trading at is, is gravy. Thank you very much. Um, and especially if you're writing 44s, 45s. Yeah, you can make some good money here. Vegas, baby, says Michelle. Um, uh, let's see. You know, dear God, I don't ask for much, but could you let the uh, the up on GameStop stay stuck? <laughs> uh, Yoko, I'm such a fan, says David. Um, <laughs> Michael is saying now uh, somewhere there's a talent agent wondering why their client Yoko's special score has been soaring lately. What's this all about? A uh, Yoko whale call plus bagel spike imminent. Oh my holy moly, says Casey. Uh, <laughs> I would buy. Uh, the Yoko, an ETF with all of Uncle Bruce's recommendations. Uh, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. 14.22 on uh, Gore's Holdings, uh, down 14 cents. Um, 18.98 on AMC uh, has touched 19.14 already today on 102 million shares of volume. GameStop 236.24 up 26 dollars. IPOE 19.22 down 95 cents. So far 1.98 million shares. The low of 1901. It's now 23 cents above the low of the day. The dip might have been had on IPOE today. The shareholder meeting tomorrow to vote in the merger of SoFi. This stock is about to go. Oh my gosh, Obama babe, I have shares of GameStop from 30 to 200 a share, and I picked up shares in between. Beautiful stuff. Silverjack, hey Bruce and Beagle Boy, should I take my profits and reinvest in GameStop, or should I just hold my position? No advice from me, it's your call. I'm just telling you what I see. So Disney is the uh, emperor, content and streaming. Additionally, they got a trust factor, sounds really nice. I'm having a feeling it's going to be a long day for Uncle Bruce. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, and uh, let's go. What else is going here? Um, um, uh, I'm uh, trading too far. Doesn't offer option trading. I don't know. I canceled my work today to watch Uncle Bruce. Um, and uh, if GameStop hits 300 by the end of the day, Yoko will channel John Lennon while streaking around the block, screaming, "I'm on fire!" Oh my gosh! Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, did you have an afro in the 70s? <laughs> I did have hair in the 70s. I had a forehead in the 70s with stringy hair. It wasn't all that pretty. It, well, I'm not showing you pictures. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. I just bought more IPOE while having breakfast. Um, I just got more. Uh, what is that comment there? Um, where is that comment? Hang on. I just got more IPOE. It averaged up. feels good. Uh, 19 on AMC. Uh, 1888 right now. Yes. Um, what can I say? Um Bruce, you got to stop. You're making me too much money. Don't, don't tell my boss. Um, uh, does Yoko o yodel? Um, I heard Yoko got a nappy dugout. Um, Bruce, what about the stock tip from George C. Uh, Sendrax, who's merging with something like that? No, no idea. Yesterday evening, almost 2,000. Today, we should hit 2,500. Remember, thumbs ups. Uh, we, we should hit 2,500 thumbs ups today. Where are we at? 1,700 thumbs ups. Thank you, guys. Keep those coming in. We're almost at 2,000 thumbs ups. Probably only about 200 something away now. And if you can keep those coming in uh, uh, just with a vengeance, I would appreciate it. Jen appreciates it. Uh, we'll break 2,000 thumbs ups in no time. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I've learned it's not so bad to hold even when the bottom falls out. GameStop taught me that. 232 on GameStop right now, 231.36. 1942 on IPOE up again. Uh, AMC 1857 backing up a little. 1429 on Gores, a little lower. Uh, there you go. Um, we will be going through 2,000 thumbs ups. Yes, we will. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, what else we got done? Holy moly, that's right. Holy moly. Uh, AMC always my cat, my crash. Bruce, do you have any experience uh, with the futures trading? Ah, uh, not personally. No, no, I don't do uh, futures as far as you know the actual. Futures contracts, anything like that? No, not not at all. Um, let's see. Uh, um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Laugh out loud. I had a forehead. Um, yeah, I had a hindhead. Uh, slept too much on my back, I guess. Um, God, I sold a one eighty five. Um, and let's see. Um, <laughs> 
Um, and, and here we go. Uh, Jacob has a very good question. Uh, Uncle Bruce, please tell me which five SPACs I should invest in, exactly how much I should put in, and also tell me what date and time to sell them. Also, please send me a text when it's time to sell. There you go. Uh, Jacob, I'll work on that for you. Uh, don't worry about that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, here we go. A Senate hearing time of the big bank CEOs. Let's give them a good public tarring and feathering. There you go. Uh, we need 2,000 thumbs ups for Uncle Bruce. Come on, you guys. Hit him up with those thumbs. Uh, we got 1,700 thumbs ups right now. Thank you, everybody, for hitting the thumbs up button for us. If you can find a thumbs up that you're able to spare and throw at that, uh, that deal right there, uh, get us to 1,800, 1,900, 2,000. That I would appreciate. Uh, we only have 65 thumbs downs. So we got 1,700 thumbs ups, and that ratio is almost uh, what is it? 25, 27 to one. Thank you, everybody. 233 on your GameStop. 1948 on IPOE. 1850 on AMC. 1433 on Gores. Let's go. There we are. 1,800 thumbs ups. We're on our way to 2,000 thumbs ups right now. Thank you, everybody, for that. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? What else is happening? Um, Uncle Bruce, did Auntie Jen have an afro? No, 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 Auntie Jen didn't have an afro. Um, um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, let's see. What a glorious day. Um, <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Um, are there any new SPACs you're looking into? I'm always looking. Uh, but right now I have my favorites. Uh, stand by for more. Um, <laughs> just remember, Olga's probably breaking rocks in Siberia right now. Olga, if you're out there, I'm so sorry that you're not able to comment here. I don't know what the problem is. I'm just hoping that when you're renewing your membership, it'll clear through. But it is kind of weird. Uh, what can I say, everybody? Thank you. Um, appreciate you all being here. And uh, nice to have you. Um, <laughs> Uh, seeing the various comments. We have 1,800 thumbs ups and climbing. Thank you very much for that, everybody. GameStop 232.16 right now. Uh, we're uh, we're just, uh, you know, finding the, the, the range here. $23 gain today, holding its own. Um, we'll see if it backs off the 205, 210 today or not. See if it goes higher or not. Uh, we'll be around. We'll just keep watching it. Um, IPOE at 1960. Gorse Holdings, 14. 43 FAII 999 Na Navstar 989 SVAC 992 Gores Holdings 998 whole bunch of SPACs at a good price uh, AMC 1851 up 210 um, Apple's up uh, is down two cents up two sets uh, 12688 almost unchanged uh, that is the the way the market is there the big markets up uh, down point one eight of a point for the Dow 0.66 loss on S&P 31 point gain on Nasdaq we're talking flatlining here folks Absolutely flatlining right now is what we have. Laugh a lot. He read, he read the, the nappy do, dugout. He read that. Free Olga, a member, maybe Dong, uh, 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 maybe Dong uh, uh, should be uh, all the uh, the Uncle Bruce ETFs that, that we should have that. Um, okay. Um, yes, the thumbs downs are very much in minority. Uh, gotta love the underdog. Um, and uh, I put in a limit order to buy a small amount of more IPOE at 1899, and I don't think it'll hit that now. May have to bite the bullet, pick it up for a few more pennies instead. Well, eight, 1953, unfortunately, for you, uh, and happily for everyone else, 1969 on IPOE. That uh, that sell off may have come and gone. Uh, what's your all time thumbs ups record? 21,000, 23,000 thumbs ups record. Got a ways to go. Ah, uh, yeah. How did I forget? A new member, Perry Page. Welcome, Perry. New member. I'm glad you're here, John Van. Was that you, poor Bruce? Against me, uh, five dollar donation. Hey, Uncle Bruce, been watching your channel for a while, and I want to thank you for the stock picks. It's helped me. It's helped uh, help pay for my wife's upcoming dental surgery. Right on. This is good. This is good news. There are really important things that need to be looked after here. Perry, Perry, you're being welcomed in by everybody, and thank you all of you for your support. This is just great. I thank you all. Um, Seth, a $5 donation. Uncle Bruce just bought two IPOE January um, uh, 21, uh, 21st, 2022, $25 out of the money calls uh, at 261 per contract. IPOE, $25 calls, 261, totaling 522 premium paid. Do you think I paid too high? Um, I would have said that the, you know, the shares were at 17, 18, yes, but uh, th this stock is on its way to 20 right now. 1962 is where it's at. If, if stock's trading at $21, $22 the next few hours, let's say, 
those will probably trade at 330, 350. So you're going to be making money right off the hop here. The shares get to 25 in the next, say, week, your contracts could be at four. So you're going to make money. Um, but if you know it goes to 45 a share, you can make a lot of money. So, you know, to, to $520 shot, uh, I like your upside potential. Jennifer, how are you? I'm fine. How Welcome. are you? I've been busy all morning. Sun is shining this morning. Woohoo! We haven't uh, had that for a few days. We have not. We've had that miserable, yucky weather here. And uh, we're not done, but the sun is shining right now. So. <laughs> the sun is shining. Welcome all to Traveling with Bruce and Uncle Jen today. Uncle Jen? You just called me Uncle Jen. Did I call you Uncle Jen? <laughs> Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen. You know what I mean. You know. What you know. I mean. Hear what I mean, not what I say. Hear what I mean and not what I say. <laughs> Hear me now and believe me later. That's, um, right. that's right. I want to pump you up. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. 232 on GameStop up 22 bucks. I saw. What a run. It was as high as 243 first thing this morning. I know. 243. Unbelievable. I, okay. I figure today it could reach 200 to 250 easily today. It's, it's all nice over the place. Uh, it's crazy. 10% jump. Not bad. Not a bad run at all. Twelve percent jump for AMC. We have Diesel making a donation of five British pounds. Thank you, Diesel. Um, hi, Bruce. Have you got any advice <clears throat> on how to keep up to date with market changes and company mergers? Looking to learn. I'll hang around here uh, for what I can give you. But uh, you know, take a look at uh, the Google. Always looking at stock market news. Doing generic searches. Uh, you'll find articles all the time, and then read the headlines from the Wall Street Journal. Look at marketwatch.com. You'll see you'll see updated news going all the time. CNBC's website, you can always look at that for updates. Um, you know, maybe not the best, but you can. They're out right? there. They're out there. The Bloombergs. The Bloombergs. Bloomberg.com. Look for headlines there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, we got here someone saying, I took advantage of the IPO dip. IPOE dip. It went from... $20 this morning mm -hmm. to 1905 or something, and it's now 1989. Anyway, took advantage of the dip, bought 10 contracts, October 15s, uh, no, October the 15th contracts that are 2250s. They're out of the money at, 22, at 230 apiece. They must have come down from the 350 range to 230. Um, so you're out of the money by 250 because you're 1994 now. The stock's about to go through 20 again. Uh, I bet you if this stock reaches $21 today, you're going to be at a $4 contract. So you're already looking great. Way to go. Picking up the dips. The IPO on, on my phone stock market thing um, looked terrible. It was like shh, down. like, And then I noticed that it was actually a nickel increment. <laughs> The charts all ex nickels. Charts all ex Oh my God! It's down out. fifteen cents. Big it deal. Looks like it like, fell off the cliff. Give me yeah. a break. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, what can I say? Perry Page says I've been watching for a while. Uncle Bruce hasn't steered me wrong yet. So for the first time, a YouTuber has earned a paid subscription. Tip of the hat Ooh. to you, sir. There you go. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here. Uh, let's make a lot of money, people. Let's make a lot of money. Thank you all. What kind of bagel should I have today, Jim? What should I do? What should I do today? Yesterday I had a, a bagel with egg on it, and Monday yes. I had the uh, I had the uh, grape jelly. Today's yes. garbage day. Wednesday Today's garbage day. Garbage. <laughs> what do I do I on garbage day? You have to eat garbage. No, I don't have to eat. No, I don't have to do that. No, no, no. Uh, what should I do today? Mmm. Mmm. Well, if, mm. if you wanted an all meat, it would only be a two meat variety. Yeah. But I'm wondering if I should have a really nicely toasted bagel, really crispy on the outside, crunchy, okay. with cheese whiz, butter and oh, cheese, cheese whiz. whiz. I wonder okay. if maybe I should do that. We could do a cheese whiz, a cheese whiz Wednesday. Cheese whiz Wednesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Why not? All right. Your tea's almost ready. Yes, my water. It's happening. Boiling. Jen is on it. Right. Cheese whiz Wednesday. Oh, wow. How about that? Uh, 1998 on IPOE. 1998 down 20 cents. Welcome back. Uh, the dip was short and sweet. Uh, GameStop 233.65 up 24 dollars. AMC 18.55 up 214. Gore's Holdings 14.34 down two cents. That's all. They're not giving up ground, guys. These stocks are not giving up ground. At least these spacs. <coughs> Interesting. Uh, GameStop 233.50 right now. All right. 
thank you for being here. The Dow is now up 42 points, rebounding. Um, S&P up three and, and NASDAQ up 45. There you have it. Uh, what else is going on here? Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, uh, Maya, you're in good company there, Perry. Best chat on YouTube. Uh, welcome, of course. Um, and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, what's going on here? Um, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, I, I'm seeing comments that I can't understand. I'm not even going to highlight them. I just I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay. Welcome, Perry. Um, I hear Jen. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm using the proceeds to buy dental dams. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Jen. Auntie Jen. Good morning, Auntie Jen. Auntie Jen. Morning, Jen. Jen. Everyone is happy to hear and see Jen. 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 Banana Jen. Jen. Full B baby Jen. Uncle Jen. Uh, Uncle Jen. Jen. Uncle Jen. Auntie Jen. Good morning, traveling Bruce. Traveling Bruce and Uncle Jen. Uh, I can't buy options in the U.S. markets. Says Tobias. Jen made the sun come out. Uh, good morning, Jen. Hello, hey, ya. Uh, hello, how are ya? They're just coming in the comments. Um, endless, endless comments welcoming Jen to the show this morning. Uh, thank you all of you for welcoming Auntie Jen. Uh, bagels with Bruce going public via a SPAC. Uh, Uncle Bruce and Jen. AB and UJ. Uh, I'm pumped. Uh, love you guys. Marcus, thank you. Hi, Uncle Jen. Thank you for the five dollar donation for that. I guess uh, we need a mug for Uncle Jen. History in the baking, laughing out loud. Uh, free thinker, five dollar donation. Question for Auntie Jen. Good morning, AJ. Uh, good morning, Auntie Auntie Jen. Has Uncle Bruce always sat back and put both of his hands on top of his head when he's thinking deeply? <laughs> <laughs> I well, he does this when he's protecting himself from getting hit. You know, he's, oh, he's yeah. cowering in the corner. I don't know. I, he does all kinds of stuff. Uh, he cries. He laughs. He curls in the corner and puts his thumb in his mouth. And, ah. We talked before about the head of our cage, our big guy, our big Mr. man, Mr. Claude. Yeah. That um, Claude and I would be in the uh, trading area where the desk was, and uh, we'd be watching Bruce in his office. Door closed. Door closed. And with the long cord, because we didn't have bat phones yet, so the long, the long cord, cord walking back and forth. Walking. And he, Pitching. And <laughs> Claude would say, okay, here's the wind up. I go, okay. He's in He's in his spread. He's getting ready. And here's the pitch. Here's the pitch. And then he pulls out a blue ticket yeah. and writes a buy order. <laughs> and the pitch was successful. And then he'd come out and give me the order. Hand the order. Here, get this now. That's right. Another another buy. Another Watching the buy. broker at work. That's right. <laughs> Here's the wind up. The wind up and the pitch. Here's oh man, the how many guy. pitches that have I made in my lifetime? Oh my yeah. god. <sighs> how many how many cold calls have I made in my lifetime? Oh, oh my god, that Jen too. <laughs> we <We've... laughs> and Jen walks away. Shivers. She's shivering oh, up and down, she's going oh the cold calls. Yes, um, and Bruce, uh, already 8 plus million of volume once the NFT and digital marketplaces explained to Wall Street, look out. Exactly. Uh, I, I think this NFT, uh, Ethereum platform trading, uh, GameStop volume will be unbelievable. This is 8.6 million. We're going to do, at this pace, 15 million today, maybe 20. This is nothing. Uh, we It's when we see 50 million a day or more on, the game, on, on GameStop shares. Watch out then. Uh, what can I say? Um, and let's see. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, nothing personal. It's just money. But if AMC runs to 20 bucks, I'm going to have to hard time talking myself out of buying a long put on AMC. And there you are, 1864 on AMC now. Um, you know, uh, you buy a long put on AMC out of the money. Um, and you are right one time. If the AMC reaches 10 bucks in the next six months, score a huge touchdown on a put uh yeah that's true it, that can be done it can be said of any stock but yes in this case too um 1994 on ipoe was just touching 20. uh that's what we got right now unbelievable activity all right um uh saw ipoe dip and got some 20 dollars calls at a discount should i kick myself for getting them above the bottom 
Nope, don't kick yourself. Just enjoy the run. Bill, mm, looking into having my new teeth gold plated, maybe a few diamond implants, putting my money where my mouth is. Hope I got that right. Um, um, Wally's World, oh, you bet, brother. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Uh, what? Auntie Jen, where's my bagel? Uh, I, I, Uncle Bruce, any advice on how to Jedi mind trick my wife into letting me uh, YOLO? You only live once. The rest of our savings... I'm up uh, I'm up 30% so far this year, possibly telling her I have uh, the God Uncle as a backer. Uh, well, good luck with that. Uh, you know, do what you got to do. A free thinker, Uncle Jen. Uh, Uncle Bruce caught a contract, contact high from the plume of AJ's wake and bake. Sheesh. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, let's see here. What's going on? Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bake the baking. Uh, Cheese Whiz Wednesday. Thank you for the five dollar donation. There you go. Uh, I'm in the green on everything. Keep this up. I will stay on vacation. Um, uh, continuing forward here. Uh, thank you all for uh, for hanging around. Um, Bruce, did you see the news about the Mormon Church uh, cashing in their large position at GameStop? That was a while ago. I uh, yeah, that was a, that was a long time ago. Two forty one, two forty two on GameStop right now, up thirty three dollars, taking another shot. Uh, two forty two, two forty three in GameStop. Um, and uh, looking at uh, any announcements, uh, no announcements on GameStop that I can find. It's just taking a shot right now to two forty one to uh, sixty, two forty one sixty five on GameStop. Volume now on GameStop eight point nine eight million. Uh, IPOE at nineteen eighty five. Here we go. We got the bagel with the cheese whiz on it. Yummy. And I, I didn't cut it into quarters for you. Is that okay? Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. I, can't, okay. I guess I'll have cheese whiz on the side of my mouth. Oh, though. my. <laughs> Could you cut it into quarters? <laughs> yeah. On-air presentation, you know. You got to keep the talent, you gotta keep the talent kind of <laughs> clean up. Uh, yeah. Uh, what can I say? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, what can I say? Uh, what else is going on here? Um, and I finally had the funds to get in on 100 shares of IPOE and lots of January $20 calls. 1982 on IPOE, only down 36 cents now. 241.25, 239.94 on GameStop. A little run, a little backing off here. Just getting shots, just getting, you know, all kinds of stuff here. You um, thank you so much. You're yes, they're cutting, <laughs> they're cutting a quarter. They're cutting a quarter. Thank you so much. We're good. <laughs> no cheese around. The no lips. cheese around the lips, if possible. We're trying to keep it as clean as we can. Um, you know, Jen gets up equals two thirty six and beyond. How about that? Uh, yeah, we're now two forty one because Jen is awake and we're here. And I got my bagel. How about that? You gotta love this. Uh, VGAC keeps trading between nine ninety seven and nine ninety eight, with the merger being close. What's up with that? Very strange, isn't it? It's being held there on purpose. Uh, the market makers are keeping it right there. For the annual meeting, which is the 10th of June. Why? I don't know. That's just their style. That's what they're doing with it. 998 right now is where it's trading at. What can I say? 240 on GameStop. Cheers, everybody. Bruce is going to have a bagel with some cheese whiz on it. And I hope you're enjoying your breakfast at the same time I am. Uh, we are having fun today. The Dow's up 47. S&P is up 5.5. And, and NASDAQ is up 59. So we've gone positive again. Woohoo! 241.24 on GameStop. Let's see how high we can go. Mmm. Yeah. Canadian cheese with. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> We love when Auntie Jen visits. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Christmas stockings filled with tendies. <laughs> I love your spac pitches, says Frank Evac. Uh, oh, cold calling door to door is a nightmare. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so so we're obviously filling the rocket for blast off now. 
I probably need a toothbrush and deodorant. Any other stuff required to pack for our moon ride? Uncle Bruce, you should have a coffee cup with Jen's hands handing you a bagel. Now that would be a cool <laughs> coffee cup. One of those? I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Been here in January, Ilian. The fro is back. Ash is getting the bags of gas. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. This is a question I can't answer. This I cannot answer. Um. $5 super sticker can thank you 243 on GameStop just a moment ago we're back to 240 right now okay Bruce over 250,000 call contracts in the money on GameStop at at $200 for this Friday uh, so the higher GameStop goes the more call contracts are in the money Quite amazing. Quite amazing. All right. 239.59 right now. <clears throat> mm. More cowbell. My SPACs are funding the new family car. Woohoo! Truly want some of that Canadian cheese whiz for the trip. I'm extra hungry this morning. <laughs> oh man, we're at 24076. 1984 on IPOE, 1866 on AMC, 1432 on Gores. Mm. On the weekends, I don't eat. Here's a big speculation. GameStop sells the Atari VCS. Atari is also rebranding. Plus, also already has NFT cred this past year on Decentraland. What if GameStop and Pong F partner uh, of better, or better yet, merge? Uh, I don't even know what half that stuff means. Would the stock go up? I don't know. I just bought five AMC puts September 17, 2021 for 255 a contract, $12 strike. Wish me luck. Yeah, you're going to need a bit of a drop there. Doable, but... I would give up all my GameStop gains for a relationship like Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen. Why yeah. not nice? Power bagel hour works every time. Two forty ninety two on on um, GameStop. Nineteen ninety four on IPOE. Bagel, bagel power eighteen sixty five on AMC and Gore's Holdings fourteen thirty three down three cents. So yeah, we're looking good. 
Uh, got those bagels now, then show them off in the D D D Discord Bagel Bling channel. Uh, this is so true. I don't know if you know this. I have a, a Facebook group page uh, for um, Stock Markets with Bruce. You're welcome to join if you like. A lot of you hang out there. A lot of you share thoughts and, and, and stories and updates there. I post videos on Facebook all the time for those Facebookers who prefer to use that platform. So if you want to become part of the uh, Uncle Bruce family and Auntie Jen family, uh, Stock Markets with Bruce on Facebook. Um, come on over there. You have to answer a couple of questions, you know, prove you're a human being, not a robot. Little things like that. Um, thank you. Uh, 23860 on, on GameStop. All right. Let's go. Um, I got 10 times on uh, out of the money $240 call on GameStop. Made 10 times my money. Beautiful. Keep this up, and you won't have to pay for that. Tesla, Uncle B, you're not going to have to worry about it. Um, I picked up Rodrigo. I picked up 10 1250 call contracts for 1119, uh, looking for a sweet return on what stock? Um, kind of leaving me in the lurch here. Uh, buying the GameStop inside the IRA seems to be working for people. 10% early withdrawal, I believe, but talk to your broker. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A cheese whiz on a bagel. The New Yorker in me just died a little inside. Well, if I were in New York right now, uh, I'd have other ingredients on this bagel, but I'm not in New York City. Uh, sorry. Um, there is a one-liner in the movie The Paper that makes the movie everything it is. Um, it Michael Keaton says it. Um, I'm not going to repeat it, but it has the words New York City in it. And uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, will there be a Wi-Fi on the moon so we can still watch Uncle Bruce? Well, I might be there with you. What do you need Wi-Fi for? Just hanging out. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> wahoo! Um, let's see. Um, uh, I'm looking at the $200 GameStop calls I wrote, and I'm shaking my head. Uh, well, you know, 239.11. Don't uh, you know? Just, just wait. Just wait. See. <laughs> question regarding IPOE does anyone know if the ticker is expected to change on Friday or will it most likely be Tuesday I think it's Tuesday that's that's what I think it is you think the market makers try to slow down GameStop I, I know don't, don't know about that I, I really don't know um, Gores is the heavyweight of my portfolio. Fingers crossed for a good report this afternoon. After the bell, Matterport announces their financials. Yep. Uh, Jen's 240.47 is a support level to stay above on GameStop. That's 239.28, 238.68. It's going to go through these. It's going to jump up and down all over the place today. All over the place. Okay. Uh, give Bruce the thumbs ups. They're free to hand out. How many we got? 1,900 thumbs ups, and they're still coming in. Guys, get me to 2,000. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Way to go, JW. Matterport, after the bell today. Matterport, Matterport, yeah. Matterport, after the bell today. Jared Vogler. Hey, Jared. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, you know, welcome to uh, the gang. I'm going to watch the paper this weekend. You're going to love it. Welcome, Jared. Everyone's saying welcome. <laughs> Wally's World. Hi, Bruce. So when are you going to start minting your own NFTs? I'm a guessing they can be plugged into a digital pic of Uncle Bruce's face and Auntie Jen's hand holding a signed verified wood amp. There's all kinds of possibilities, aren't there? I, I just haven't got enough time for this stuff. 
Trading halted on GameStop. Is it halted? I'm showing it at 237 right now. Up 2757. Uh, no, 237, 37. Straight. Straight. Um, let's see. I should have done it yesterday. One is a dollar. Um, 1.9 thousand thumbs up. So what do we got now? 2,000 thumbs ups. Woohoo! We got 2,000 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. You guys are awesome today. Beautiful job. <laughs> John Van says, I've never spent so much time watching someone eat, and I've been married going on 17 years. <laughs> oh, man. Other guy, $10 donation. Hey, Bruce. I have 100 shares of VGAC. If I sold them and I bought five contracts at a $10 strike price for 2022 January, would it be worth more than just keeping the stocks? Thanks for everything you do. Well, you got $1,000 worth of stock. Can you actually get um, uh, five contracts for $1,000 at $10 strike price? Uh, can, can you actually do that? Because that's, that's a pretty good move up on leverage. You're going to 500 shares of leverage from 100. Might be worth your while. Two thousand thumbs ups. Well done, everybody. Woohoo, John! Uh, thank you, John, for this donation. Um, if Uncle Bruce turned his keyboard upside down and shook it, how many bagel crumbs would fall out of his desk? <laughs> We're done. The bagel. We're done. Mm. So good. So good. Okay. I forgot the ticker. It's FAII 1250 for uh, 1119. Good move. Good move. Um. Nothing that I can uh, report to you um, as far as, you know, price speculation for VGAC. I, I, I'm Richard Branson is going to be talking about it. Uh, I think institutions are going to be talking about it. I think a whole bunch of analysts are going to start covering this stock. There is some serious institutional money going into the 23 and Me deal with VGAC. Serious money. There's going to be more money going in. More and I think it'll be billions, with, an, with a B and an apostrophe S, additional cash will go into that company, but not at 10 bucks. Nowhere near here anymore. Um, so I, I think there's a nice move coming. That's just my, my thing, my thinking, my gut feel, my opinion, my opinion. Mm. Jared, uh, thanks for the welcome. I joined for the first time. Uh, about what what are your thoughts are on the unusual options activity on TLT puts? I don't even know what TLT is. I don't, I don't follow it at all, so I, I can't I can't give you an opinion. Uh, I had to close down the app. I already started. It's all good. Okay. Um, not whatever. Um, if if the if Matterport bl blows out financials tonight, will we see a, a um, an AH dump? Um, uh, What's an AH stand for? AH um, AH dump for the from short sellers. After, after oh yeah, after hours. Jeez, yeah. Thanks, Jen. So will we see an after hours dump from short sellers? Good news as of late seems to do that. Or do we see a little pop from the positive? What's your best guess? Well, I'm wondering if uh, 
not too much will happen right away in the after hours. What I think I wonder about is um, tomorrow and the day after and then next week um, as Gore's Holdings releases uh, and, and gets their uh, latest filings approved by the SEC, so that will mean that they'll be active. They will release their shareholder vote date, you know, the shareholder meeting for the vote. It is at that point I expect, like all through that time frame, I expect a lot of uh, commentary coming out about this merger and how, like in my opinion, like SoFi merging with IPOE is awesome. Matterport merging with Gore's Holdings will be awesome. And VGAC merging with 23andMe will be incredibly awesome. And those shares will, will go. But the second it happens this afternoon, tonight, uh, you, you, you're putting unrealistic expectations on a, on, a, on a stock, Gore's Holdings, that is not known by 90% of the market. Um, very few people know about Gore's Holdings. We know about it because you're ta we're talking to the market all the time. Um, but you guys are the minority. Um, those 2,300 of you that are with me right now, you know, we're into this market every second of every you know minute of every day if we can be and we're the we're the anomalies we're the we're the one percenters and we're up and we're aware and and we're looking into this ghvi going oh man that's good really good well amongst us maybe but the 90 plus percent of the market that has no idea they don't even know what matterport is really they kind of know they certainly have no idea what Gore's Holdings is, they, but they're gonna find out. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're gonna be educated all about it um, in a big way forever, uh, like forever. And uh, hang on to your hats, kids. Uh, we're gonna be busy this summer, really, really active here. And you guys are gonna be asking me when should I sell? It's like well, I'm way up. What should I do now? What, what do I do? This is these are the questions I'm getting gonna get from you. And I'm excited for you because I think we're going to be in for a lot of fun here. Anyway, there you go. Love you, Uncle Bruce and Jen. Says, As Ashley, thank you. Where can I watch the paper movie? I don't know, Brandon. I'm not sure where you can get the movie, the paper. Uh, you know, check um, check Netflix, check uh, Amazon Prime, check, you know, whatever services you have. Uh, check the internet. I mean, I don't know. Check your local, uh, you know, uh, local uh, thrift store. For a copy of it for a buck or two i, I don't know uh just you know look up amazon maybe you can get it sent to you by somebody for a couple of bucks uh i don't know uh, there you go okay uh welcome all welcome all welcome all uh good what's the great news on gamestop it's going to the moon that's exactly what the news is um if you were listening to cnbc this morning you were promised uh news on gamestop and you didn't get it you didn't get the news at all on GameStop. Crazy. Carlos, Bruce, what do you think uh, for what do you think for after the SoFi merger? Wait about a month before covered calls, or wait for the next quarterly results. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you when we get there because uh, I want to see just you know how the street picks up the SoFi story, how intense it'll be on on Reddit. On Wall Street bets, on on you know other YouTubers picking up on the story. I mean, there's going to be coverage all over the place. I am waiting for dozens, and I mean dozens of analysts to write analytical reports in the first month or two of of SoFi's new life as a public company. Dozens of them will come out with reports, <clears throat> buy recommendations, target pricing, all this stuff. Hang on, guys. We're, we're going to be busy. We're, we're going to be, you're going to be richer and busy. The higher we can go, the constantly, but the launch, the better. Uh, that's a good one, right up to their clean uh, mouse one. Um, what else is going on? Uh, um, uh, Delaho, thank you for this uh, this Norwegian kroner donation. Thank you. What's happening with GHBI tomorrow? Uh, well, tonight, um, a Matterport releases their financial results. Matterport is taking over Gore's holding. And so Matterport will release how they're doing. I think it's going to be great. And then we're waiting just for the next shoe to drop, which is the formal announcement and timing of the merger. That's what we're, it's, it's in the SEC's hands right now. We're just waiting for that to come through. 
Uh, for the new members who joined today, winning is what it's about. Uh, thanks, Robin. Ken Griffin says, ah, is, is all out of tiger blood. Um, let's see. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Um, you know that 55 Norwegian Corona, that's 152,679 dong. That's a lot of dong. Thank you. Um, after hours, we're coming out with that news. After hours, VGAC, 10 calls for January 2021 are one. Dollar eighty, just saying. Uh, Ten dollar calls for January, buck eighty. That's it. You shift out of the stock into the five. Go and do it. Yeah, give yourself five hundred leverage for sure. Grab them if you can grab them. I bought my first in. I bought my first in of GameStop at two eighty one. Spent the last two months bringing that cost average down to one sixty two because I like the company, I like the stock and the spacs. And look at that. Now you're at two thirty six. Giddy up, baby. Yeah, love it. A uh, huge bump. That's the way Ashley uh, Bruce leans back. I lean in. Laugh out loud. We're all so helpful. Um, TLT shares a 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. Tons of puts being bought recently. I don't know about it. Uh, buy and hold. Good morning, Uncle B, Uncle B, and gang. I've been away. Did I miss anything? Not a thing. There's been nothing, nothing going on. Same. Everything is exactly the same as when you left it. Nothing has changed. Go back to sleep. You'll be fine. Uh, uh, or hang around. Uh, way to go, Ashley. Proud of you. Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, the SPACs have given me the confidence to continue diamond handling the uh, holding the GameStop, seeing gains regardless. How about that? Uh, welcome, one, welcome all. Um, let's see. Um, um, mm, 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 mm. Welcome all. Nice to have you here. Uh, where am I here with all my comments? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come to Lisbon, Bruce. I want to kiss your forehead. <laughs> It's not on Prime or Netflix. I just checked. Um, let's see. It's only four bucks to rent on Prime. There you go. Diego, uh, new member. Diego Cuevas. Diego, DC, welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, nice to see you. I'm, I'm uh, glad you joined us. Uh, CNBC said they had GameStop news and then didn't report it. Shocker. They they uh, they teased us this morning, about uh, about uh, an hour and a half before the opening, that they had news um, that they had like um, they're going to give us an update and uh, you know, um, uh, an explanation of what's happening with GameStop and AMC and IPOE. They flashed all those symbols up. They flashed them all up, and they were showing about how how they've gained lately in percentage terms, referring to them as meme stocks. And uh, they came on um, with Stephanie Link, um, another money manager from New York, and then with uh, Ross, you know, Andrew Ross Sorkin. And he asked her specifically, Andrew Ross Sorkin asked Stephanie Link specifically, what are your thoughts on GameStop and AMC? And she went into a uh, three-minute spiel about central bankers um, um, opening up funds and the spigots and how Europe was uh, fighting off a recession, and how there's a transformation right now in the market from from uh, from uh, uh, from value stocks to growth stocks, and there's all this money moving around for growth stocks. Didn't mention GameStop, didn't mention AMC, didn't mention IPOE, SoFi, not one word in her three-minute spiel. And Sorkin is going, yeah, but Stephanie, Stephanie, what are your thoughts on these stocks? Because he knows they've only got a five-minute segment. She's just used up two minutes of it for nothing. They talk to the other guy, and he's going, I agree with Stephanie. Like, you are wasting my time. Why are you on the air? Why would CNBC tap these two people to talk about these stocks? They clearly don't know anything about the stocks. They don't know anything about the companies. They don't want to know about the companies. They don't care about these companies. They're experts in their area, and they're very good at it. They follow very high capitalized stocks, and they handle billions of dollars of money for people inside investment funds. It's okay, but they're not GameStop specialists. They don't know anything about the uh, the Ethereum. They don't know anything about NFTs. They don't know anything about gaming. They don't know anything about uh, the SoFi thing. They don't want to know. They don't care to know. It's not their wheelhouse. What a waste of everyone's time and what a downer this was when the hottest stocks in the pre-market were these shares and these guys couldn't even talk about it. It just, it just defies 
complete logic, and it just again uh, uh, solidifies the fact that th there are th these people at CNBC are just not capable of covering the markets properly. I mean, they're 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 they only want to cover their their favorite uh, hedge fund managers and and the big banking houses, but. As far as retail investors go and to tell us what's really happening on the hottest stocks being traded, clueless, useless, absolutely useless. So much, so ridiculous. I guess for me, it's a good thing because if they're that incompetent, gives me an opening to do what I'm doing, I suppose. I, you know. Uh, hey, Bruce, assuming that the margin call price is met, what, what's the absolute limit to how long a hedge fund might be given to cover realistically? Um, Gaff, that's up to the individual brokerage firm that they're using to short stock. Uh, that's not a that there's no industry wide number here. There's no industry wide standard. This is a client to brokerage house relationship decision one on one, and uh, the brokerage firms are bending over backwards to get hedge funds to deal with them. Then the hedge funds know it, and they don't deal with just one broker. They deal with a whole bunch of them, and they're constantly being wooed to come on over here and do deal with us, trade with us. Um, and uh, hedge funds, uh, they have limitless money to handle their trades, generally speaking. But after a while, they lose. They will get to a point where they don't like the losses. Right now, eight thirty nine, two thirty nine on GameStop. Eight thirty nine, two thirty nine on GameStop. Um, they can't be happy. Uh, it was one sixty two weeks ago. Uh, they can't be happy. But are they under? Are they out of business? No. Are they uh, so distressed? They're going to lay off employees. No, um, but sooner or later, they'll get to the point where if the Ethereum crowd, the, the, the crypto trading crowd comes into GameStop in a big way because of the NFT crypto upside thing that is happening with GameStop, if this evolves into what I think it can evolve into and what I'm being led to believe, these shares could really go, and the shorters will have to decide to fish or cut bait here. It's going to become extremely expensive. But I don't know what day. I don't know what minute. I don't know what second. I don't know what price. I do not know. I don't know which firm. I don't know which hedge funds. I don't know anything of that. I, I can't tell you. And it's, it's not like I'm trying to hide it from you. I just can't tell you. That is the deal, and that's the way it is. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, appreciate this. Uh, Michael, thank you for joining the channel. Uh, beautiful. That, Br Michael Br Brink, Brinky, uh, thank you for coming in here. Everyone's going to welcome you there, buddy. You're being welcomed right now. This is beautiful stuff. Thank you, everybody. Uh, buy and hold. Colin, nothing has changed. Colin and I are testing our rockets to the moon. No news. Nothing to see here. Thanks, guys. Says Michael, thank you for welcoming me. Carlos, uh, Bagel Gang, if you have a Roku, you can search any content name. It'll give you every option available. There you go. There's thoughts on the paper. Trying to find the show, the movie, the paper with uh, with uh, Michael Keaton and Glenn Close and uh, Robert Duvall. Great, great movie. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? I just love it when Uncle Chris gets all worked up over the shills on CNBC. Just watch the blood pressure, big guy. Need to stick around long enough to get you cut when the GME moons. Um, there you go. You know how it is. Uh, thank you to um, Marvin. Uh, this donation here, Uncle Bruce, January 2021 calls, contracts on Gore's Holdings. Get them while I can. Yeah, get them now while you can. Get in there. Get in there. Today of all days, get in there. IPOE 1978, get your calls. Get your calls. The meetings, shareholder meetings tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, does anyone hear me? To me, tomorrow. Oh, man. Yep, here we go. Richard, uh, CNBC gives no coverage when the, the stocks go up. Only the other way to fit their meme agenda. There you go. I'm telling you, uh, what can I say? Uh, oh, man. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, all right. All right. All right. Uh, Dustin Moore, new member. Thank you, Dustin, for joining in. The latest, greatest add on to this channel. Uh, love you guys. Thank you coming in here. 240 on the GameStop, 240.68, up $31. Volume on GameStop now is uh, $11.2 million on the day. IPOE, 1982. Low of the day, 1901. Now back to 1982. Volume, 3.1 million on IPOE. AMC, 1850. The low, 1726. The high, 1914. Now, 1850. Kind of in the middle. Uh, volume, 160 million shares on AMC. Gore's Holdings, 
14.39 up three cents, taking a bit of a shot right now on 180,000 shares. That's it. And the Matterport numbers come out tonight after the bell. Um, man, oh man, uh, up 35 points on the Dow, up 6.9 on uh, S and P, up 74.7 on Nasdaq right now. Those are the gains on the big markets. Dustin is being welcomed in by everybody. Okay, there you go. Um, thank you all for coming around here, uh, pump, pumping up the membership numbers. You got to love this. The NFTs allow digital items to be as unique as a physical item. It itemizes sales and resales. Very good for business. Waffle says, Colin, thank you for your service. <coughs> Colin, doing what I can here. Uh, JW, new member gang. We got the new member gang growing here. It's incredible. Uh, Atomics. Thank you, Atomic, uh, for the uh, Gorilla logos. Uh, we're um, getting stronger as a channel here as more and more of you are coming in to join us. 2,100 thumbs ups and climbing. Thank you for that. Only 79 on the down dip. Thank you very much for the uh, roughly the 25 or 30 to 1 ratio. Thumbs ups to thumbs downs. Thank you for subscribing to my channel today. Some of you have decided to join me and, and, and uh, Jennifer and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. She appreciates it. Thank you all so very, very much for that. Uh, thank you for being here today and hanging out with us. Uh, we really appreciate this. Uh, love the uh, camaraderie and the the uh, the, uh, the uh, company. Watching these markets just do their thing. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, this is uh, what a great day we're having here and a great week so far. Uh, not a bad week last week either, I have to say, as we are climbing up the... Uh, the board here with these stocks very nice um yes olga is still in jail uh i can't even get a jail on probation come on uh olga we love you and i i just hope you can find a way out of this uh, olga cannot make comments on our channel even though she's a member what does she have to do um i don't know what to say uh, i'm kind of wondering if olga is on a device that has somehow blocked her from being able to comment on this channel. I don't know what that uh, device is and I don't know what the that the problem would be. If anybody has a clue as to what it is, let us know um, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, we're doing the best we can. 238.81 on GameStop right now. Uh, the Dow is up 55, S&P up eight and NASDAQ up 72, right on. Um, welcome uh, all of you uh, to the show, the channel. Um, and uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, 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 what else is going on here? Um, yeah, uh, uh, CLZ is saying, I'm a new member as of yesterday. Thank you, Uncle B, for all you do. A month ago, invested $2,000 of savings. Fun. Remembered having two IRAs sitting doing nothing. Now I have GameStop, IBM, and all the SPACs. Double fun. CLC, this is great stuff. Way to go. Um, I I'm, I'm excited for you. Um, I'm really pumped, and um, I, I just want you to get really rich. This is good stuff. Um, RB uh, just bought 12 shares of GHVI. It's all I can afford uh, ATM, but glad to jump on the wagon. There you go. Uh, you, you start with whatever you got and go from there. Zzz, says buy and hold. Dustin, I really enjoy the channel. Lots of laughs and good vibes. Let's let's see some more bagel. Max, thank you, Max, for being a new member. Um, Gregorian, Max Gregorian is in the house. He's here. And everyone's going to welcome Max, as you see right there. He's been welcomed in already. This is awesome stuff. Thank you. Olga, Olga. okay, uh, advice for Olga. All right, let's see what we got here. Olga, 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 must have earned a band. Um, uh, oh, hi. Uh, Max is saying, hi, fellow apes. Been watching Uncle Bruce since February. Finally decided to be part of the family. Thank you from Connor Payne. Thank you, Connor Payne, for your donation on my PayPal account. It just I just got the alert on my phone. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that very, very much, as does Jennifer. All right. All uh, right. Over here now, where are we at? Should we donate to her jail card? Olga has to put on a hat with horns and sing opera. Larry, Olga, what is the status of your mouse? Has your mouse got a lot of crud in it? Is there a problem there? Um, let's see. Wait, uh, uh, Ryan Cohen's a member? Or is it a parody account? Uh, I think it's a parody account. Steve, um, Stock Wars with Bruce, I managed to get a $15 IPOE October call contract for four ninety five. dollars uh, Your opinion, should I try to get the January 22 instead? Um, you got an October 15, you're in the money, uh, 480, you sit on that contract. You just sit on that and enjoy. Uh, Colin, I'm going to bake Olga a cake with a file in it. 
to help her break out. Should it be a Photoshop file or a PDF file? You know, I'm going to give her a file. Get her out of that jail. Um, Samwell, uh, NFTs essentially introduce property rights to virtual goods, art collectibles, show tickets. It's going to be interesting, uh, really interesting. Um, does Olga's prison allow contingent visits or con 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 conjugate visits? Um, Waffle, she's in solitary confinement. Um, uh, welcome, Max. No fakes here. Um, and um, how, how come IPOE got grouped in as a meme stock? Uh, what are the qualifications to be qualified? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. What, I, I have no idea what CNBC is thinking ever. I mean, who knows what those guys are thinking? They, they got the wrong analysts to cover the wrong stories. They're uh, so opinionated. They're, they're bringing in uh, Republican senators and congressmen to talk about the markets. Get those guys off the air. Those are hacks. Get rid of these guys. I don't know why they're on there. That's the Ryan Cohen. Um, Bill, um, no one cares about your financial future uh, but you. It's a bull market for years. Take control. There you go. Um, Steve, thanks for the advice, Uncle Bruce. Bama, babe, uh, other than money to be made, do you have other intrinsic motivations for doing this show? I'm just curious. Um, <laughs> well, I got something to do uh, in the middle of a pandemic. I've uh, been locked in the house since last January, uh, like everybody else out around here. I have fun doing this. Um, I, I, it helps pass the time, keeps me invigorated. Um, yeah, um, making money, and I uh, and I and I just I, I get so turned on when you folks score on these deals. Uh, and uh, Jen and I, we just so appreciate you uh, with your donations and 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 uh, memberships, and and now soon to become class members. I, I we're we're stoked. We're just. It's just so exciting for us to to grow this little thing up. It's phenomenal. We're really loving it. Laugh out loud, Colin. Um, let's see. Uh, good morning, GameStop. Let's go, says Aaron. Um, and uh, and uh, here, uh, you know, uh, Michael is saying, um, hey, Bruce, I've been loving the free info over the past months. Uh, I started feeling bad and figured I should start paying for it. Well, you know, it's going to cost you uh, U.S. $10 a month to be a member of this channel. And for that... You get two live shows a day, uh, generally five days a week when you know when the markets are open. So that's that's twenty, that's forty live shows a month for ten bucks. So each live show is twenty five cents, and I'm hoping that every day you get at least twenty five cents worth of knowledge or more out of one of these two or three hour broadcasts. So uh, thank you everybody for uh, becoming members of this channel. It really means a lot to us. Uh, um i'm able to say to myself uh when i wake up every day i have a certain number of members that are here and i have an audience waiting for me and if i can keep the audience engaged and and and, and do this with you that membership number will maintain or grow and that means my monthly take home is maintains or gets better and uh I'm motivated to 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 work it, and so uh, I'm motivated to be on the air five hours a day and do videos in the evenings and do uh, one on ones with you additionally, and now look at adding classes um, because it's it's a motivation for me. I mean, yeah, it's it's good money, a lot of work, uh, good money, but uh, uh, you guys get such a reward uh, when you learn how not to make mistakes and how to take advantage of market opportunities, and I, I'm just beyond excited when you guys do well i i really am it's fantastic i have a vested interest in your well-being because the better you do the better i do it just works that way and i don't own a single share and that's the thing i've got to i got to deliver you guys the goods that you can make money with um for me to survive and uh, i'm prepared to take that challenge and so thank you all so much uh, this is beautiful. Okay, uh, what is up? Um, gives life to his purpose, gives purpose to his life. Um, I have 19,000 shares of IPOE. How to? How do I write call options? Thanks, Uncle B. You might need to talk to me in private. Um, if you got 19,000 shares, uh, or is it 1,900 shares? I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm a bit confused there. Uh, meme, they won't, they won't pay to play. Um, anyway, there you go. Um, Mm -mm. Um, what is going on here? Hang on. Let me come back through here. Uh, there we go. Um, all righty. 
Here you go. Uh, AB, meme stock equals any stock the little people might be able to make some money off of. Why not just buy some nice General Electric stock? You might invest for 20 years and lose half your money. That's right. If you bought GM, GM, uh, GE in the last 15 years, you've lost nothing but money on this thing. Um, uh, Scorpioxy has become a new member. Uh, welcome to the channel, uh, Mr. or Miss X. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. X. Uh, Mr. C, Mr. S, fantastic. 24068 on GameStop. What's 1978 on IPOE? 1879 on AMC. Gores, 1438, up two cents on the day. What do you love? Uh, I'm sure this makes Bruce feel needed because he is. Uh, CNBC hacks and owning it like the hot rock to Uncle Bruce is a bagel show off. Um, hey, uh, Scorpio. I think it's Bama Babe like Alabama. Bama Babe. Alabama. Oh, my God. Wholesome like a bagel. Uh, uh, Carlos, <clears throat> IPOE uh, can be seen as meme-ish because uh, Chalamoth was all over the air during the GameStop squeeze ranting about Robin Hood. He knows they are so fi competition and want to stick a few knives in the Bulgaria boy. <laughs> Could be. Uh, and welcoming our new members. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everybody, thank you. I'm happy to join, says Diego Curves. Uh, happy to join. Uh, still new to stocks. I put around two and a half of my savings into IPOE when it was at 17. Now it's at 20. I might as well join the channel and thank Uncle B for sharing his knowledge. Nice. You're up, what, almost three bucks a share on uh, two and a half. That's $7,500 a game. Uh, beautiful. And we're not done yet. I wonder who actually wants to eat so many helpings of crow speaking of this story of CNBC. I sold a $340 May 28th GM call, GME call for 460 bucks insanity so it expires in two days and you brought in 460 bucks and they they have to take the stock off you for 340 for you to give it up now there there you go there's easy money anybody out there got a thousand shares why don't you do the same thing bring in 4600 dollars for two days uh 340 call contract you think that you think the stock's going to 340 day after tomorrow well you know take a chance chalamuth also paper handed uh, spce um okay well, here we go let's see what's happening now more comments uh, as I try to desperately keep up with this. Uncle Bruce is becoming a streaming content provider. Look out CNBC. Uncle Bruce, you may be bought out by Amazon. <laughs> um, okay. If I can't chat, I listen to Uncle Bruce in the background. Uh, you are appreciated greatly, Uncle Bruce. Thank you, Kayla. Kayla. Uh, Uncle Bruce, graciously, great, greatly appreciated one, says Wally World. Thank you, Wally. I uh, appreciate you guys, too, of course. Um, I learned a lot watching this show. Thank you. Um, not sure how to do options, laughing out loud. I'm going to have to do a class on that, I think. I'm sure uh, I am I'm a, I'm a, what? I'm a, a total investment in kindness and inclusive best life behavior. Uh, Ashley, thank you, I think. Uh, Octavio, we love you. Uncle B, thank you, guys. Matt uh, Cato, new member of this channel. We are adding members left, right, and center today. Thank you, all of you, for coming in here means a lot to us it really does uncle bruce priceless bros broke broker how can you not own a stonk if you believe that it can reach a hundred thousand or a million a share it doesn't make sense to me uh well um you know how can you how can you honestly look people in the eye and uh, uh talk to them about stock when you already own it um uh, you know and i i just cannot i cannot fathom having that conflict of interest i just i just can't i cannot Nope, not at this age. Maybe if I were 30, maybe I could live with it, but not at 65. No way. Uh, Wally, talk to the GE 401k retirees how much that half is. It ain't pretty. That's right. Uh, slept in this morning. Woke up the big movement. What's going on? There's nothing happening. It's okay. There's nothing going on. Just go back to sleep. You'll be fine. Wake up next week. It's okay. You'll be fine. Uh, Splitter, could it be possible Jen has the stocks so you can help us and watch hers? Um, no, Jen doesn't have stocks either. We don't own any stock. Uh, welcome back, Matt. Uh, welcome, Matt. Welcome, new members. Welcome, 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 everybody. Um, and uh, article on Weevil calling GameStop and AMC a pair. Uh, that's great. Bill, heading out for my cervical MRI around 115. Surprise me when I get back home. Take care, Bill. Good luck with all that. Hope that works out okay. Welcome, Matt. Um, and, uh, hey, Uncle Bruce. Found you back in February. I joined today because of the NFT announcement. Everyone, please look into the Vive platform. They have a solid hold on licenses like DC Comics, Pokemon, et cetera. Maya, uh, so great to see all these new and old members in the chat today. We got folks here 
Can Man, Uncle B, is going to be a special guest on the Moon Ride. He doesn't need the stock. He just needs to hold our hands every day. Laughing out loud, Carlos. Um, let's see. You do much more. You do so much more, says Christina. You're educating the youth on the rules of the game and looking at the current market. We get so much from you. So many YouTube channels are dry and too analytical. Thank you, Christina. You're very kind, Matt. I thought I could stay away, but I was mistaken. I can't stay away. Uh, call it. Um, Three dollar and one cent donation here. Um, that equals sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty dong. FYI, just so you know, thanks for everything, Uncle B. Thank you, Colin, and thank you for those conversions, keeping us uh, posted on the dong count. Uh, broke broker, Uncle B. Great teacher, better than any American university. Thank you, uh, Maya. Bruce has viewers for life. Uh, Lou, uh, two forty two on the stock. Uh, no, two forty. Uh, two forty right now. Uh, Skylar Blake, don't you mean wholesome like a bagel? Whole wholesome. H O L N. Oh man, Kyle Birmingham reporting it. There, that is a lot of dong. Hold it. Uh, thanks, uh, Colin. Uh, laughing out loud. Um, Maya, Colin, uh, clapping for Colin. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure Bama Babe volunteered for Bar Barack's 2008 campaign. No politics, please. Uh, doing my part to educate my friends. Uh, Kyle, uh, roll tide. Uh, I'm willing to let Jen, uh, I'm willing to bet Jen said to Uncle B, honey, you need a hobby. And boom, here we are. She's thankful and so are we. <laughs> there you go. Um, Erica, we have more volume on GameStop today than we had all last week. GameStop right now, 11.6 million volume today. IPOE, 1972 volume, 3.2 million. Thank you, Olga, for your donation on PayPal. Thank you, Olga. You're too kind. Uh, you know, I'm so sorry we can't get you in our channel here. Uh, Olga, tell me something. Uh, send me an email. Um, tell me what what device did you use to become a member of the channel all right was it a was it an iphone a laptop uh, was it a was it a was it an ipad what did you use to become a member and now tell us what device are you trying to use to comment on the on my channel is the same device a different device I will pass this on to the gang, and let's see if this helps out in any way, shape, or we got to figure this out. Maya, that's a lot of dong. Ah, uh, Colin, that's a lot of dong. Bruce says nice, like Mike Tyson, nice, um, nice. I don't, I don't bite ears though. Um, 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 roll uh, tie. I, I'm not going there. Alabama, uh, laughing all No, Amazon. I need bathroom breaks. Just sold 3,700k of GameStop. 3,700k. Okay. Uh, welcome, Matt. Hi, uh, Matt. Uh, what kind of cruise ship will you be picking up for our Bruce cruise? What kind of cruise ship will you be picking for our Bruce crew? Our crew, our Uncle Bruce cruise, our Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen getaway cruise. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we're uh, we're thinking probably 2023 is the likely timing for this because uh, cruise ships are going to start soon, kind of um, in patchy kind of way through the rest of this year. And then 2022, all the lines have got to get fully up and operational again and then announce their 2023 itineraries. And we'll see what's going on. A lot of cruise credits have to be honored here. 240 bucks on GameStop right now. 1970 on IPOE. AMC, 1859. Gore's Holdings, 1445, up nine cents now. The Dow up 46. Uh, S&P up nine. NASDAQ up 80 points. All right, there you go. Um, let's see what's going on. Uh, our Erico, hey, uh, he's making 20,000 a month on memberships alone. He doesn't need to risk holding a position. I wish I was making twenty thousand a month on memberships. If you you guys could, you know, every single person watching right now were to become a member, that would really help get me there. But we're not there yet. Um, and uh, thirty percent off the top goes to PayPal. It goes to uh, uh, YouTube. So, no, 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 not not quite. Happy. But it's a living. It's a living. We thank you, uh, Bruce and Kato. Haha. -ha. I respect you more for not holding stock. Your advice and words mean more since they're unbiased and self-serving. That's, that's my thinking. I, I just don't want to be in a conflict of interest. I just really don't. Why don't people just believe you're honest? I, they, they just... There you go. Um, how, can, how can a YouTuber make every viewer he has happy? Cannot be done. Impossible. It's just... just you figure that out real quick uh, when you become a YouTuber. Real quick. Okay, Uncle Bruce, my wife is very happy that I started listening to you, especially when we look at all the green numbers in our account. But, so she's, you know, you keep listening to that guy. There you go, uh, Christina. Uh, did you own a? Uh, did you own stock as a broker? Not often. Not. I would. I found that if I owned stock, 
um, I couldn't, I, I had a tough time talking about it with my clients in an objective way because I'm always looking at the quote and, and not paying attention to the story. I found that if I didn't own stock um, and I just concentrate on my clientele, I could just, you know, live through the, live the market through them and just, you know, dedicate myself to the, to the cause and, and be digging up info as best I could. It's just far more enjoyable. And we just jumped four bucks on GameStop, 243, 244 right now. Uncle Bruce, I am making money today off of GameStop and I just bought 21 more shares of GVAC. GVAC or is it GHVI? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Uncle Bruce makes us money, game, set, match. Uh, Jamie, um, welcome folks, this is a fun day. When it's when it's a down day, Bruce is funny, educational, and we drink a lot. Uh, Bill, suggestion, don't tell anyone your financial investments. If GameStop goes to the moon, et cetera, and you're rich, everyone will have their hand out. It puts a target on your back. Money causes problems. There you go. Dong, is it for dinner? A call it comment of the day. Uncle Bruce, love you, babe. Thank you, Michael M. No dry analytics here. We got dong. There you go. I'll uh, laugh out loud. Yep, 2.2 thousand thumbs ups. That's with those 80 losers. So we have 80 thumbs downs and 2,200 thumbs ups right now. Thank you all of you for uh, throwing thumbs ups on this show today uh, on this channel. I really appreciate it. So kind of you. Uh, King Dong. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. What else have we got going on? Um, comments, comments, comments. 244 on GameStop. The high of the day, 243.56. What was the high? 245.50 was the high. So we're a buck 50 a low from, from the high of the day right now. Going to jump around all day today. Um, let's see what happens here. Uh, now we lost the chat to Doug. Uh, um, what else? Uh, let's uh, free my trader Olga. Oh, let me go to Olga. Let me see if Olga sent me an email. Olga, did you write back to me? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Olga, Olga, Olga. I'm hoping Olga is going to send me a note here uh, to tell me what device she signed in on, what kind of device she's trying to use right now. Uh, thank you for your donation, Olga. I really appreciate it. Talk to me, Olga. Uh, send me an email. Talk to me so I can I can pass on this info and we'll see if we can figure out a solution for you. We're down to 10 minutes before my show is done here. So hurry, hurry, because we're down to the last 10 minutes. Um, okay, uh, let, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Olga, see you soon. Um, uh, says G. Um, mm, 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 yeah, well, here you go. Bill Coin, there are desperate people out there always thinking you're assuming carrying a lot of cash. That's Olga's entire commissary for the month. Um, let's see. Olga sending her jail money to Bruce. Uh, uh, free Olga. That's right. We got a free Olga here. She's she's trapped. Um, and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, um, uh, what's going on here? Um, Sean and Wendy, God is amazing. We missed Colin this morning because next to you, Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen, he, Colin, is so funny. Thanks, Colin. Confused clap, confused clap. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, <coughs> Kalib, I'm trying to decide whether when I should roll some GameStop gains into VGAC. Do you have any thoughts on when VGAC might break out of its current trading pattern, crystal ball perhaps? All I know with VGAC is they're having their annual, their annual, they're having their shareholder meeting to approve the takeover of 23andMe on June 10th. That is um, uh, 15 days, uh, two weeks tomorrow. So in two weeks, next Thursday, that you know, two Thursdays from now or so, they voted in. So all bets are off, uh, right up, leading right into that meeting and going over. So here we are. We're at 9.98. Uh, we got to bust Olga out, jail. Where's Tony? How did you bust out, Tony? Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, I just checked my pantry, and all I have are lame little English muffins. No bagel to butter. That's a bagel bummer. Oh, my. Ona, has anyone thought about having millions of dollars or where we're going to put that kind of money, considering the banks only insure each account to $250,000? What do we do with this kind of money? I need this, this options class ASAP, trying to figure out this on my own, and I'm failing. Michelle, my bell, adjust a floating bar. Uh, Colin, the relentless dong. Um, uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, where am I? Uh, here somewhere oh my gosh the comments the comments so many um uh where am i uh let's go uncle bruce is betting on himself not the stocks if he does good we do good um 
We're going to go long on Bruce uh, on the long. We're going to go. We're going long on the Bruce Cruz invest. Um, and let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, Uncle Bruce, have Tony or resident tech removed remote desktop into her computer? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, to make everyone happy, you got to start taking orders, baby. Uh, thanks for being you, Bruce and Jen. Um, and um, 244 on GameStop. 247 on GameStop now. Going higher. Um, let's see. Uh, Uncle Bruce has been watching you for a couple of months now. And I'm earning 10 times my weekly working earnings. Trust the Bruce. There you go. Um, uh, let's go. Let's go. Um, really hate it when I miss the mega momentum. Mega momentum days to sell my covered calls. Um, 245 on the stock. Uncle Bruce rocking and rolling. 246 on the stock. Um, and uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, just trying to get through comments. Trying to desperately catch you guys. There's so many. Thank you, everybody, for, for a lot of you talk to each other, which is great as well, of course. Uh, thank you, everybody. Beautiful stuff. Uh, uh, 1975 on IPOE, down 43 cents on the day. GameStop, 245.63. Uh, AMC, 1923, over 19 again. Gores, 1440, up four cents. AMC hit a high of 1948 today. It's, it's pushing its high right now, um, and it's on 185 million shares. So AMC is rolling. GameStop trading. 12.6 million shares near its high of the day right now, a couple bucks away. IPOE volume, 3.39 million now at 1978, only down 40 cents a share. Gores Holdings, Gores trading 209,000 at 1440. That's where we're at right now on these stocks. The Dow up 30, S&P up 6.7, NASDAQ up 67 points. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, where else are we going here? Where else? Where else? Where else? Uh, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> aut uh, autism. I found you at 4.30 in one morning one day, and I couldn't sleep. Um, that same morning, I bought 6,000 shares of IPOE at 15 bucks, Holding indefinitely. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. Nice going. You're almost up 5 bucks a share on 6,000 shares. 30 big ones. Nice. Nice. Uh, you'll be able to write 60 call contracts down the road, too. Nice income coming in for you later. Later, later Jean-Claude Van Damme needs a career boost. He changed his name to Van Dong. AMC 1927 on AMC. Yep, that's right. Um, hey, Bruce, I just want to say thanks, uh, says Thomas. Uh, I'm up 40% thanks to the following. Only your most basic advice, not even messing with the complicated stuff you rock. Thank you uh, for those kind words, and congratulations. Uh, well done. Um, let's enjoy the ride. I think we will be... Uh, we're in on a good one, and I'm pretty excited. 244.98 on GameStop, trying to break 245 right now. And there it is. It's a 245 right now on GameStop, up $35 a share today, right now. Uh, making money. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, letting the stock go higher. Let her go. Let's see what she wants to do. She'll go up. She'll go down. She'll go up. She'll go down. Um, we know the big picture, and it's looking like a really good big picture. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Um <laughs> Bruce is the way. People just got to be patient for things to pan out. Um, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, here we go. David Lee, uh, Ona, uh, with uh, CDARs and ICSs, you can receive up to $50 million in FDIC protection. So don't worry about your millions. Ashley, if you feel like you missed out on this day, it's never too late to learn a lesson. Um, peace, homie. So you have three. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to go here. Um Thank you, David Lee. Uh, thank you. Um, and this is not for day traders. It's for diamond hands. Go GameStop. Go have a fabulous afternoon, uh, Waffle. And um, and let's see. It, it is the best scenario we're hoping for here with GameStop is that it creeps up to that four five hundred range before the next uh, meeting and Cohen announces a stock split. <sighs> Don't know. I mean, it's two forty six right now. Um, you know, I, I don't anticipate 500 share by June 10th. I mean, I, I'm not anticipating that. I would really not. I really don't want to see that. Um, I would really rather the stock just steadily go, 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 go. That's all I want. That's all. I, I can live with this. Just give me this, 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 this. You know, with some, you know, there'll be dips here and there, but just an overall growth curve. But I can't control this market. I'm only telling you what I see in the plain English format. Uh, 245.27 here. With the volume now of what is it? Um, 
volume, volume on GameStop is um, 12.7 million. So, whew, uh, serious stuff. Uh, and no, no announcement. No announcement. Uh, so there you go. Uh, 245.27. Thank you. Uh, uh, IPOE is approaching 20 again. It's 1980 now. It's coming higher. AMC 19.27 and Gore's 14.38 of two cents at the moment. Uh, the other SPACs are in that 9.90 to 10 dollar range, except for Fifth Wall at 10.49. Vanek Vectors down 93 cents. Um, Home Depot up a buck 95. International Business Machines down 51 cents. The Dow up 29 points. Microsoft down 30 cents. Apple up a dime. Tesla up 12.65. Bed Bath Beyond up two dollars and five cents to 25.79. Royal Caribbean up 250 to 91.50. There's a put uh, waiting to be bought or more. Uh, Norwegian 31.44. Carnival 28.97. Amazon up 26 bucks. Facebook down 86 cents. Google up 25 dollars. That's what we have right now. Um, amazing. Intel uh, down seven cents to 56.80. Coinbase 243 up 81 cents. Boeing uh, up 75 cents to 241 a share. Uh, AT and T down uh, up two cents to twenty nine fifty four. Um, yeah, that's what we got going on here. DraftKings forty nine forty up ninety eight cents today. Woo we uh, watching these markets and uh, and looking at movement. What a day and a week and a week to come and a month to come and a summer to come. We are going to be really, really busy here. Um, we are going to have a lot to be talking about. Um, you guys are going to be doing a lot of trading. You're going to be doing a lot of uh, uh, self-analyzing. You're going to be doing a lot of reflecting, and you might have a whole bunch of uh, tax situations to be talking about going forward. It's fine by me. Uh, <clears throat> tax people are tax problems can be solved with tax professionals to help you, and you'll be able to afford them. So you're going to be just fine. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here with me this morning. We're just finishing our show here. I'm going to be back on this afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern time. We'll keep an eye uh, uh, watching all of this stuff. Um, Uncle Bruce, I have to be honest here. I've never been so exhausted but rewarding at the same time. How did you do this as a broker? Uh, you trained for it. You were young. <laughs> uh, you, were, you would have been in your 20s uh, and your 30s when you were at the height of your career. And it was stressful and it was active and uh, that's what I used to do every day and you lived and breathed this stuff. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. Time for a Costco bagel run. See you in the afternoon. Buy and hold. Thank you, buddy. Let's squeeze the settle back at 1,000K. Uh, what's up with VGAC? Who's selling to enable all this volume? Uncle Bruce, it is a good idea to buy AMC now. Um, what else is going on? Comments, comments, comments. Uh, thank you, all of you. Um, and let's see. Um, here we go. This channel is for diamond-handed apes. We are the world, and we own the float. And we're not day traders. Um, I can see four to five hundred by six ten. I love to dream. All right. I would say to have a good day and see you later. Uh, there you go. Um, um, and does Uncle Bruce have Discord or or a way to keep chat going after the live show withdrawal? Uh, there's a Discord, um, and you can find it by um, uh, by going to my uh, Reddit sub page. The stock markets of the Bruce Reddit page, and you'll find the link there. Um, okay, uh, thank you. Um, what have we got going? Lots. Uh, Two forty-two uh, eighty-four. Uh, the high of the day on GameStop two forty-seven now, and uh, IPOE at nineteen seventy-nine. Um, AMC at nineteen nineteen. Gore's fourteen thirty-eight up two cents. Thank you everybody for seeing me. I'm going to see you at three o'clock this afternoon for the last hour of the day. And then we'll do the first hour in the aftermarket. Thank you, all of you, for seeing me and, and sending us kind wishes. Jennifer, thanks you. All the new members, I thank you so much for joining us. Do, do, donations today, same with the PayPal donations today, absolutely marvelous. We thank you so much for that. Uh, absolutely incredible. Olga, um, um, I, uh, I use my laptop, my iPhone, and my TV sometimes. I reset my devices and currently are logged in only with the laptop is what she's saying. Um, and uh, she's saying, uh, I'm working right now, can't pay much attention to the stream today, but I love you, everyone. Bagels to the moon, she says. Uh, fantastic. Um, and I, I just, uh, just so glad you, you're still with us, Olga. You hang in there. Uh, hopefully, we'll figure this out for you somehow, some way. And uh, maybe time will fix this uh, whole thing. 
and you'll be up with us in no time. Uh, that would be just tremendous. Thank you all of you for subscribing to my channel, Stock Markets with Bruce. Appreciate all you new subscribers coming in. Uh, to hit that bell notification icon and make sure. Thank you for the thumbs ups. 2,300 thumbs ups on this show. Guys, you're fantastic. Only 85 on the downside. We have almost got a 30 to 1 up to down ratio going here because of your thumbs ups. Thank you very much for helping out this channel and putting it on the YouTube map. Uh, the YouTuber people have to find us. 239.99 on GameStop right now. All right, that's it for now. I will see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all later. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, and we'll see you at uh, we'll see you at the $290 mark. We say <laughs> thank you later. Thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Uh, that was easy. Thank you. That was easy. Later, everybody. We'll see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Goodbye now from Creston. We'll see you later.